Bible, who had an issue of blood for 12 years, she suffered in shame. One day she heard that Jesus was passing by, she touched the hem of his garment, and she was made whole. As it was in the Bible, As it was in the Bible. so it is now. Every sickness and disease will leave your body This is your time You will be here So fix your gaze on Jesus You have your miracle There's a miracle For you today It doesn't matter what you're going through The blind will The Bible. Was in the Bible, so it is now. Every sickness and disease will leave your body today. This is your time. 
You've had no peace within your heart Oh, if you would only believe He's the only one who never fails His power is flowing Here to deliver you From your troubles and pain your shoulder lay your burdens at his feet would you put your trust in Jesus and your life will be forever changed you have a real oh, all you need is Jesus is right here tonight only believe you have tried everything yet to have no peace within your heart if you would only believe only believe he's the only one who never fails Your 
troubles and pain. Hallelujah! Glory, 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 glory! Praise the Lord forevermore. Yes, He is healing you now. Healing Streams, Life Healing Services, March 2024 edition is already on. And the healing power of God is coming right to you where you are. From this moment on, the healing power of God begins to flow right into your home. And there will be a miracle where you are. I want to thank our man of God, Pastor Chris. Pastor, thank you so much, sir, for the opportunity to open this meeting and also to serve as the director of the Healing School. I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much, sir. I want to welcome everyone who is watching us today, our global congregation, ministers of the gospel, leaders of nations, everyone who is here. You are very welcome to this special moment with destiny. 
This is the 10th edition of the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with our man of God, Pastor Chris. And it is a celebration of our triumphant entry into the nations through the Healing Streams. So much has happened since 2021 when we started. And we're so glad that God has given us this opportunity to bring his healing power to you right in your home. So wherever you are, it's time to invite others, get them to join. We're streaming live on several stations around the world. Of course, on the HealingStreams.tv platform, all our ministry networks, all our ministry platforms, and several terrestrial and satellite stations, TV stations, radio stations around the world. So get connected, get them to participate. This is the moment we've been waiting for. We have been praying, we have been preparing places, we have been prophesying, we have been um, publicizing, we've been partnering, and here we are. This is the 10th edition of the Healing Streams. Praise the Lord. We're going to start today with a word of prayer. Hallelujah. So wherever you are, would you take a praying position? If you're able to stand, go ahead and stand. But whatever position you're in, make sure that you are focused and reverent so that you can pray. And as we pray, the ministry of the Spirit will be with you. You know, one of the important things you must know about Healing Streams is that there must be a connection between you and us. Whatever we're doing right here in the studio, make sure you do at home. When, we, when we're praying, make sure you pray. When we're worshiping, make sure you worship. At every point in time, participate with all your heart in the program and you'll immediately be a part of what's going on in this place. The same atmosphere here the same faith here, the same impartation here will be ministered to you right where you are through your focused and active participation. So we're going to pray right now. And like I said, if you are able to stand, go ahead and stand. But whatever position you're in, make sure you're able to focus and make sure you're able to have some reverence around you. And first, we're going to thank God for the healing streams, the 10th edition of the healing streams. We're going to give thanks to God. We're going to appreciate the Lord with words of praise and giving him glory for the healing streams and all it has come to be around the world. So go ahead and just give thanks to the Lord for healing streams, the healing ministry of our man of God, taking healing to the nations of the world. Oh Father, we thank you. Libranda Talabazeta, Lebranta Corema, Jacaba Son Teliba Zaprante, Coma Shakaba Son Talabai, Librante Corema, Stakiba Son Talabazeke Bashate, Lebrate Coba Zeco Sebali Jante, Coma Zante, Carima Stakiba Santa, Lebranta Corema, Stakiba Shanta, Calabasota, Lebrande Corema, Zacaba Shante, Calibazete, Lebranda Corama Stakiba Shonte. Oh, Father, we thank you. Now, right now where you are, begin to pray for the sick, the hurting, those that are afflicted around the world and are connected to this meeting. You might be right with one or two of them, maybe in a hospital, maybe in a center, maybe even in your home. There's somebody who is sick right beside you. You're going to pray for them now. And at the same time, you're going to pray for sick people all over the world who may be connected. Some of them will be alone by themselves, maybe also in the hospital, maybe in a prison, maybe in a palace, wherever they are. Let us pray for sick people connected to this program that this will be that day of change for them. Let's go ahead and pray. Koma zento karimash ta kiba zoprata kalaba shante. Liba sonta koma zebrata kaba shenta koramash ta kiba sonta. Lembra gazonta koramash ta kiba sate riba shonta. Riba sabrante koma shante kele bazota. Lebrada korema zakaba shante koremash ta kiba shonta. Lebranta korema stakaba shante karema shakaba sonta. Lebranta korema zakaba shante koba zebrate kaba shete. Lita ko. Koba zenta koma shaka ba sonta la ba zeta raba she brote koba shenta karama she ke ba sonta la ba ye oh ba liga zota ki ba shante karama she ki ba shanta raba se ka ba zenta kali ba shete la grante koma zenta kariba she ki ba sonta la ba ye liga zoprate kama shante kaba zeta ligosta oh masaka ba liga zonte kore ma she ki ba shante koma sheta riba sabranta kora ma shaka ba 
Sante Liba Shanta, Librante Coma Sante Riba Yekeba Shanta, Rabba Sabrante Coma Shenta Caraba Jekebonta Karama Shata, Riba Sabrante Coma Shante Corema Jacaba Sonte Liba Ye, O Masakaba Shante. Oh, hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for this very special monumental and memorial edition of the healing stream life healing services thank you lord for the special gift of grace that you have given through us to the whole world to bring your healing power your healing message your love your liquid love and power to billions of the world thank you father god for this 10th edition will far surpass all the preceding ones in glory in impact in the mighty name of the lord jesus and father we thank you for sick people who are participating around the world wherever they may be in a church in a hospital at home in a healing center, wherever they are we pray for them oh god thank you because even now the ministry angels are tense to them thank you because they are focused and they it is alive and active to receive everything that you have for them. Thank you, Lord, for miracles and testimonies that will be wrought all over the world in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Now, I just want to share a scripture with us today as we prepare for... The ministry of the spirit actually from the moment we started even before the program as we've been preparing and publicizing miracles have been taking place in different places glory to God but from the moment we started the broadcast today the whole atmosphere around the world changed and wherever you are you can receive your own miracle I want to read from Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12 it says for the word of God is quick that means living. God's word is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Glory to God. You know, when we talk about the healing streams, these are words of the spirit. The Lord Jesus said, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Today you're going to be receiving words of the Spirit, rivers of water coming to you. And the scripture says God's word is alive and active, powerful, capable of causing a change. And it is sharper than any two-edged sword. And it is so accurate, it pierces to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. And it penetrates the joints and the marrow. Hallelujah. That means as the word of God is coming to you today, everything about your life can change. Is it your spirit? Is it your soul? Is it your body? The word of God can get right into your bone marrow and cause a change. Glory to God. The word of God we are bringing you today. The Lord Jesus said, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and life. So receive those words. Receive the words as we pray. Receive the words as we minister in music. Receive the words as the man of God comes out and makes declarations receive the word as you hear testimonies do you know that people have been healed listening to the testimonies of others suddenly faith is stirred up in your heart and you take what God already provided for you some have been healed as the man of God prays for those on the healing line and they see a case similar to theirs and they take their healing others are healed as they watch the man of God praying on the healing on the on the large screen sometimes he calls their name and they say that's my name I'm healed another time maybe it's the condition they say that's my condition I'm healed sometimes it's even the country it's my country I'm healed anything can happen to day glory to God the grace is abundant for you wherever you are so take your healing and understand that God's word coming today coming to you today has the power to penetrate and cause a change it's so powerful so receive the word and that's all you really need to do and your life will be changed today glory 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 be to God now remember the program has started and we want to start receiving your testimonies. Do you know I got a testimony just before I stepped up here? Yes, it's already happening. So share your testimonies. We're going to put some details on the screen. And with those details, send us your testimonies. Let us know what's happening, where you are. 
the miracle that's happened. And in anticipation of your miracle, also take a picture of yourself as you are now. Take a video of yourself. Show yourself. Show your, show your child. Show that man or that woman in the hospital. However they are, begin to prepare for your miracle by recording the current condition of that person. And by the time the program is over, you're going to be having your before and your after. Today is your day. Glory to God. Today is your day. Yes, believe and you will receive. Glory to God. So we're going to go now and have the Love World Singers. They're going to minister a special song. And I want you to participate with all your heart and receive everything the Lord has for you. God bless you. Jesus is present here. Jesus is present. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, anything is possible. Absolutely anything with the exception of nothing. Anything and everything is possible in the name of Jesus Christ. And we're coming to you in his name. Yes, we're coming to you in his name with his love and with his power. And in that name, every knee must bow. Every sickness must go and your life will be transformed. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to have a little discussion. And uh, I have with me on the set, I would like to introduce the highly esteemed Reverend Tom Amekina, sir. Welcome, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much, sir, for being here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Please, let's give him a big hand. I also have with me on set the highly esteemed Reverend Rio Kocha. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. And we also have on the set highly esteemed Pastor Johan de Bear. You're welcome. Thank you so much, ma'am. Nice you. to have you here. Thank you, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Now, of course, you know that this is the 10th edition of the Healing Streams and is a very special one. At this very special edition, we reflect on God's grace that has come to the nations of the world through the Healing Streams. What the devil intended for evil, God turned into a massive, massive blessing to the world. Of course, it was in his plan all along, but the scripture says, just like the scripture says, if the devil, the princes of this world had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So if the devil had known it, they wouldn't have tried to stop the healing school, which was what happened in 2020 when the man of God suspended the healing school to give some response and assistance to the nations of the government over the COVID fiasco. But a year later, the healing streams was birthed. And from then till now, it's been from one level of glory to another with ever-increasing impact, ever-increasing penetration. And this 10th edition is an opportunity for us to reflect on the journey so far and to give thanks to God even as we anticipate greater works. At the beginning of this year, the man of God said that we had amazing programs of healing in 2023, but they are nothing to be compared to what's about to happen in 2024. That means as big as 2023 was, guess what? You are in for something really huge this year. Glory to God. And this is the 10th edition. So we're going to talk about that and have some opportunity to thank God for the healing streams. And I'm, I'm going to ask uh, Highly Esteemed Reverend Tom my first question. And Highly Esteemed Reverend, I'd like you to just talk to us about the healing streams as God's platform to take healing to the nations of the world. The man of God said to us that the healing streams are at the forefront of our healing crusade. And through this blessing of God, so much has happened around the world. And we'd just like you to share some thoughts with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank my father, pastor, my dear man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakulome, DS, DS, DD, God's foremost apostle and prophet, a healing apostle, a healing prophet, God's foremost apostle and prophet to the nations of the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you for being at the forefront of it all and bringing us the the message, the life of God in your message and demonstrating the character of the Spirit and letting everybody know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Your life portrays the reality of the Scriptures and shows that God is still doing, still fulfilling His Word today in today's world. Thank you for the opportunity to be on this platform and on, on this uh, talk show. Thank you, sir. I also like to thank the um, ever inspiring, hardworking director of the Healing School, Pastor Dr. Diola Phillips. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The day has come. Day number one of the 10th edition of the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. Yes. Glory. Yes, the much-anticipated healing streams has started. And like the director said, in case you don't know, 
the miracles have already started. The healings have started. It's another level altogether. And the man of God has declared that the miracles we will see this year are far more than what we saw in the previous years. The glory is increased, and in a short while, you that are participating, you will be shouting and jumping yes. and sharing your testimony. Praise the Lord. You know, the Healing Streams Life Healing Services um, with Pastor Chris have become God's strategy for bringing healing and restoration and even salvation to many all over the world. It's a very, very, very unique strategy because like the man of God said, prior to this time, when we used to have the healing school, people would come and pastor would minister to a few thousand. And, um, you know, in different, at different times in the year and in different countries, but this time around, Billions of people are connected even today. And look, what a strategy. God bring, brings the healing to everyone where they are. In your house, you're watching in the car, and the other day people were watching in a plane. <laughs> and the miracle was taking place in the plane, in an airplane where they had the Wi-Fi um, to connect and participate. People are participating in the palaces, even in places where there's restriction of movement, they are participating in their homes. And it is amazing. So God has taken this platform, has chosen this platform and strategy to bring healing to everyone, everyone that is sick. Why? Because it's his will. It's his will. When you hear us quoting the scripture, Psalm 33 verse 5, that the earth is filled with the goodness of the Lord. Healing streams shows the goodness of the Lord, and this is the goodness of the Lord, and it is manifested all over the world. And then it also, the scripture that says, the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. Through the healing streams, the earth is being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. Everywhere there's a miracle, there's a testimony, the glory of God is manifested. And yes, men and women and people all over the world are getting to see the glory of God. Now, the each edition has been filled with miracles, testimonies, um, transformation of bodies and lives and dreams. And we have seen, just like the Bible has said, the blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the deaf hear, the dumb speak, lepers have been cleansed, and the dead have been raised. Severally, severally, some, I mean, some of the testimonies we'll be sharing shortly, you'll see, and some of you are even aware of people um, that have been raised from the dead. I, I, I mean, I, I've been face to face with one and I've seen him, he's alive and well and testifying. He was raised from the dead. So we're seeing the fulfillment of scriptures through the healing streams, you know, and um, participation has been in prisons in hospitals, orphanages, um, internally displaced persons camps, in, in palaces, like I said, in places where they are forbidden to read the Bible, you know, um, the devil has no sense. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, T.L. Osborne used to call him, the great man of God, T.L. Osborne used to call him poor devil. Now, they put those restrictions there, but God has a way of making his word come to pass and bringing that healing to wherever the people are. So, we have had testimonies from um, hospitals where hospital wards, whole hospital wards were emptied because people got healed. And those in the prison, despite the fact that they've been in the prison, you know, some people are in prison and then they got infected or afflicted and they got sick plus the fact that they were incarcerated testimonies have come from the prisons, have come from um, remand homes and different places all over the world. What a strategy. What a platform. Places and in many countries where um, the, the, the light of the gospel has been dim, has not shined many countries where they've not heard before. The testimonies of the previous 
um, editions of healing streams spread there. Imagine Iran. Yes. I mean, we have testimonies from Iran, China, mainland China, the core of China, Afghanistan, Lebanon, Mongolia. Think of all the places, I, even, even in this one, this particular healing streams, we will hear testimonies from Yemen. Yes. We're going to hear more from Saudi Arabia. We've yes. already received some from Saudi Arabia. Yes. 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 All over the world, in different nations, people are participating. It is bigger than what you can imagine. And this is the biggest thing that is taking place in the world right now. Now, we're here. Um, I, I said all this for you to know that you are in the right place at the right time as you are connected to these healing streams, live healing service with the man of God, Pastor Chris. Today, make up your mind that today is your day now the testimonies that we share all the people simply did was believe and then some of them so you say well, do i really believe there's some who said well they didn't know if they believed but when the man of god just spoke the word they noticed changes in their bodies you know as particularly that that has featured on uh, healing streams uh, um, tv um if, uh, a couple of times now the little girl the mother said the doctor said the limbs had no bones yes. oh every time i see that testimony they were just like uh, flesh you know just like rubber like flesh the the legs had no bones so this child could not stand nor walk but at the healing streams as the man of god ministered and gave the word the child got up where did the bones come from? Bones had formed. Not only, not only did she get up and the child began to run, run all over the place, walked all over the place. Immediate transformation, creative miracles. How do you, how, how do you describe this? Medical science says it's impossible, no bones. But the bones came. Hallelujah. What a miracle. So wherever you're participating, Remember, the Lord said, if you have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, no matter how small your faith is, if you think it is the least, it will work if you exercise it. And exercising it means you are responding to the instructions of the Holy Spirit. Whatever the man of God says, you do it. Whatever we're doing here, you do it. If we're praying, pray. If we're worshiping, worship. Thank God that the lyrics are always on the screen. And just lose yourself to God. Encourage yourself into that miracle. And encourage everyone that is around you. The next testifier will be you. Amen. We will be reading your testimony. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. The next testifier is you. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Amazing. Hi, Leslie Mabry. You're welcome again, sir. Thank you. Um, one of the important things about this program, just as Haile Sim Reverend said, is the, has been the participation from all over the world. And God graciously gave us the opportunity to also translate the program into every language of the world. I'd like you to just talk to us about that and then also share some of the testimonies. Let's have some of the testimonies as well as you're speaking. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much, esteemed director. Praise the Lord. I'm so grateful to my man of God. Thank you, sir, for bringing God's unique presence and glory and power in this day and age. Thank you for yielding yourself to God. Thank you for touching lives all over the world. I'm so grateful that I am in your generation. Thank you so much, sir. And just like Reverend Tom said, this is the much anticipated healing streams, life healing services with our man of God, Pastor Chris. Glory to God. Wow. It's your time. It's your time. And you know, God has you on his mind. That's why he prompted the man of God to have this program just for you. Because this program is a demonstration and manifestation of the love of God. Hallelujah. I just want to read a scripture, if yes. you don't mind, please. In John chapter 5, verse 20, um, this is what the Lord said. And this is how true this is for our day. It says, For the Father loveth the Son... And show it him all things that himself do it. And he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. Of all the mighty works we saw last year mm. and the previous editions, 
the man of God said, what we're going to see this year is nothing compared to all we have seen. That means we have just entered into the greater works. Yes. Yes, greater works than what we have seen. Now, the Lord has been healing, performing miracles up, to, up until this time when he said this. Now he says, God will show him greater works that, that you may marvel. So the man of God already has seen the greater works. And that means we are now in the era of the greater works. That means what he thought was impossible, what medical science thought was impossible, you will see them happen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the man of God has um, taught us how to reach people and love people. And knowing the significance of touching people and reaching them, especially in their language. I think we have just about 10% of people who speak English as a first language. So think about that. That means about 90% of the world wouldn't be, able to, uh, wouldn't be able to reach them if we stick with English alone. So we are now, think about it, transmitting and translating the message in over 8,000 languages of Every the world. Every language, actually. Every language of the world. Wow. Glory to God. That means it's never happened before. That means the world is being reached right now. And you think of the efforts, you know, that we have put in in all our partners and all our, you know, those working with us to have this happen. It's unprecedented. All over the world, in different parts of the world, people set up these uh, centers, translation centers, where they are translating the message in their local language and they can hear the message of the man of God and the communication of the love of God. Wow. That means anything and everything is possible right where you are as they listen and hear the message faith is packed up inside of them and they connect glory to god you know we have quite a whole lot of testimonies from the previous editions that we have uh, had so wonderful Dr. Kree's healing program on Love World India and received my healing instantly glory to God. Thank you for the Proclamations Talking Sessions live program. I got the information regarding Love World UK projects from my pastor and we were asked to give. I just said what L thought I could give which was under £500, however I was prompted to pay my due promised. And I checked my bank account to give. I found £2,000 in my account from the previous company I had worked for. Praise God. I give thanks to God because I was able to sow £1,000 into Love World UK today. Glory. Remarkably, after the second session, Valentina slept for the first time in three years without any pains. She woke up to realize she was completely free. Now she can walk, turn, Bend and even dance without any pain or support. Hallelujah. No more corset. She's completely healed and free from osteoporosis and osteochondrosis. Glory yes, to God. Reverend, sir. I, I wanted you to just talk about the work of angels in healing streams. You know, that's something that 
um, the man of, you know, we, we may not see certain things, but even at this moment, there is such ministry of angels. Myriads of angels are attending to so many people. I just wanted you to talk about that. Thank you for that. You know, a, a man of God from the onset, just a minute, please. He, 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 taught us, he taught us how, you know, the Spirit of God, you know, in a vision, you know, an angel came and taught him how to heal the sick. And he said there are angels that work with him at the healing, uh, in the healing ministry. And that's what we've seen repeatedly. A lot of times when we're in the meeting, we have people, you know, they hear a voice. Say somebody said, get up. And they've suddenly realized there's nobody there, but they heard the voice. Some also, others have people support them, lift them up. And nobody lifted them up, just like what happened in the last edition, yes. the, the last night, yes. in the last edition, when the man of God, wow, 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 <laughs> <laughs> never seen before. He just counted one, two, three, four, five, I think up to eight. There were nine. Nine, were nine. okay, nine. <laughs> and then he now says, all of you, you're here, get up. And every one of them jumped out of that out of the stretcher, <laughs> healed completely. One of them said that two men supported her, lifted her up. And amazingly, when you look at the video, there was nobody Three, there with her. Four, five, six. That's it. Seven, eight, nine. Now, in the name. Now please be calm in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness leaves you. Every demon goes away from you. Every pain ceases now. And you are healed. Get up from your bed. Of course, just like you can see, Nobody helped them get out of the bed. But you know, one of them testified that two men came and lifted her up out of that bed. That's the ministry of angels. Yes, sir. And, and there, there are some even who, in their homes, you know, right where they are, there were several testimonies with God that at that moment, yes. when the man of God said, get up, they got up in their homes. Hallelujah. Several testimonies of that particular moment, people got up in their homes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, that's, that's what's happening. And just to let you know that there are angels all over the world. It's not just in the studio where we are, right where you are. There are angels, okay, ministering, confirming the word that man of God will speak. And so when you hear that voice, get up. That's it. That's your sign. Get up. Do what the man of God tells you to do, and you'll see that perfection in your health. Be yours. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So much faith is coming to you as we're speaking and letting you know what to expect. Anything is possible. Now, I'm going to have esteemed Pastor Johan talk to us, um, and I would like you to talk about the kind of miracles that we've seen, including children, especially children. I remember the, one of the, in fact, almost every healing streams, Pastor will pray for children, and we see so many children being healed. And then I also want you to talk about salvation, the healing streams as a way for salvation to come into the life of people, into the, you know, into a community. Just share with us along those lines. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Uh, firstly, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank our dear man of God, Pastor Chris, for, Pastor, I love you so much. Thank you that you said yes to the Lord Jesus to be used by him all over this world. What a blessing you are to this globe. And I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And the director of the healing school, Pastor Diola, thank you, ma'am, that I can be on set today with God's generals. What an honor to sit here with the Reverend Tom and Reverend Ray. You know, I feel... I feel very small between these generals of God because they are amazing men of God. Hallelujah. The, the Healing Streams Live Healing Services is, is an open door to the world like never before. When, when Pastor said that this is the 
10th edition. And this edition is going to be 10 times bigger. When that was said, there was a grace released by the man of God. It's like God say, get ready. Said, during the course of the program, she listened at earlier on. He, he said, all you have to do is just to receive what's coming. Valentina slept for the first time in three years without any pains. She woke up. We, we've heard so many testimonies and I've seen. She can walk, turn, bend, and even dance without any pain or support. Hallelujah. No more corset. She's completely healed and free from osteoporosis and osteochondrosis. Glory yes, to God. Reverend, sir. I, I wanted you to just talk about the work of angels in healing streams. You know, that's something that um, the man of, you know, we, we may not see certain things, but even at this moment, there is such ministry of angels. Myriads of angels are attending to so many people. I just wanted you to talk about that. Thank you for that. You know, a, a man of God from the onset, just a minute, please. He, 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 taught us, he taught us how, you know, the Spirit of God, you know, in a vision, you know, an angel came and taught him how to heal the sick. And he said there are angels that work with him at the healing, uh, in the healing ministry. And that's what we've seen repeatedly. A lot of times when we're in a meeting, we have people, you know, they hear a voice. Say somebody said, get up. And they've suddenly realized there's nobody there, but they heard the voice. Some also, others have people support them, lift them up. And nobody lifted them up. Just like what happened the last edition, yes. the, the last night, yes. the last edition. When the man of God, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Never seen before. He just counted one, two, three, four, five, I think up to eight. There were nine. Nine. Were nine. Okay, nine. <laughs> and then he now says, all of you, you're here, get up. And every one of them jumped out of that, Hallelujah. out of the stretcher. <laughs> healed completely. One of them said that two men supported her, lifted her up. And amazingly, when you look at the video, there was nobody Three, there with her. Four, five, six. That's it. Seven, eight, nine. Now, in the name. Now, please be calm. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sickness leaves you. Every demon goes away from you. Every pain ceases now. And you are healed. Get up from your bed. Of course, just like you can see, nobody helped them get out of the bed. But you know, one of them testified that two men came and lifted her up out of that bed. That's the ministry of angels. Yes, sir. And, and there, there are some even who, in their homes, you know, right where they are, there were several testimonies with God that at that moment, yes. when the man of God said, get up, they got up in their homes. Hallelujah. Several testimonies of that particular moment, people got up in their homes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, that's, that's what's happening. And just to let you know that there are angels all over the world. It's not just in the studio where we are, right where you are. There are angels, okay, ministering. Confirming the word that man of God will speak. And so when you hear that voice, get up. That's it. That's your sign. Get up. Do what the man of God tells you to do. And you'll see that perfection in your health will be yours. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So much faith is coming to you as we're speaking and letting you know what to expect. Anything is possible. Now I'm going to have esteemed Pastor Johan talk to us. Um, and I would like you to talk about... The kind of miracles that we've seen, including children, especially children. I remember the, one of the, in fact, almost every healing streams, pastor will pray for children. And we see so many children being healed. And then I also want you to talk about salvation, the healing streams as a way for salvation to come into the life of people, into the, you know, into a community. Just share with us along those lines. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Uh, firstly, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank our dear man of God, Pastor Chris, for, Pastor, I love you so much. 
Thank you that you said yes to the Lord Jesus to be used by him all over this world. What a blessing you are to this globe. And I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And the director of the healing school, Pastor Diola, thank you, ma'am, that I can be on set today with God's generals. What an honor to sit here with the Reverend Tom and Reverend Ray. You know, I feel, I feel very small between these generals of God because they are amazing men of God. Hallelujah. The, the Healing Streams Live Healing Services is, is an open door to the world like never before. When, when Pastor said that this is the 10th edition, and this edition is going to be 10 times bigger, when that was said, there was a grace released by the man of God. It's like God say, get ready. Hallelujah. Suddenly a strong force pushed him back into his body and he came back alive. And he, he went back to the, the healing, healing center. center to continue with them. Today Isaiah is alive. Hallelujah. Giving glory. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's so many testimonies and the reason we're sharing this with you is to also let you know that anything is possible with you where you are. Many of these people were in their homes or in the hospital, somewhere far away, but there was no distance to the healing streams. Just as God's word can reach every part of you, God's word can reach you wherever you are. Hallelujah. We're going to take some time to pray right now, and I'm going to invite Highly Esteem Reverend Ray to just uh, take his place at the podium to lead us in a session of prayers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Once again, I want to thank my man of God for the opportunity to lead the global audience in prayer. Right where you are.
you want to stand, you stand, you want to sit, but take a comfortable position to pray because it's time to pray. We'll be praying for the sick and afflicted around the world. I read Isaiah, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Glory to God. We'll pray that during these healing streams, life healing services, everyone who is sick and in need of healing will experience and witness supernatural encounters with the healing power of God and receive a special healing touch from the Lord that will quicken their bodies and make them completely whole. Praise the Lord. Right where you are, I want you to begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the Spirit. Speak in other tongues as we pray for everyone. Yes, that requires healing. Glory. Barali gron to lo bara na mango tokoya garaningo pari da pali go tokora kata kapali kani kolo nomfrania lakte ingradinge sonde ligara pale kata kapakora lante garato kora kati kapala katoya pale kana mali go do bora niga taka ba Congress ya kuri taya manderia do konde liga taki kopara kitoya angere da bana geranongro sonde ligera taka bara Take a pokora, take a palaya in the Lia Manon, let take a log, take a palaya, Koraki Sombra dea, Kalato Fraticapa, Garina Maligo to Kurapaka, take a paleco to Koratea, La Conde de Camanga de Go Zuranea, La Combra dito, Branenga Ratacapahaya. Gadina maligo to kurata kapa karati kapa kora na ne ne la koto kuke pala kate kapa hande ike tolo bora ne ingradata ba konde froste praka to kuke lea angera raba rane malakata ya kuraka sura bahanta la korani maligo to paka tala bara la novo ne kate gara pako to kupraki tiki ya geraka to pakarananta bara kata kura Ke sandala ba la konde liga ba antile froka ba kaje ya la koto ko pa kata kale koto ko raba ande le nomvra nenge taya kari na male koto ko pa kata kali go ba li go roba la gade ja prakatika karaka to ko pa geraka ta pa ko ya geraka to ko pa kanda la para de koto ma la konde para na manda ika tombre de ya kari na malaka tomba ika Catea, the Raka Sopra Cata, Capriar no Frontia, Le Condo Baranamande, Icapara Cata Cora, Kela Barada Bonea, Ratosa Pacata, Capacarataya, Ingredea, Caralava Sopacate, Capacateca, Paracatoraba, Tarina Malabarata Pacatopa, Caparanenga Talabanda, Leto Kerateca Pacolatea, Balena Vombra Lana. Ingera raba handa, ingera na malato koya, handa la barire proko sopra teka pala rodoya, la nefra kasaya, i para la mando koto paya, garapa kata kerantea. Gara pale koto paka ne molo no bara, gera taka paka dia, ge pale te mono nea, ila na mango to paka ya, ile prada ko paka tele gamanea, ijoro frata kapa, deri na manga raba kate ya, impra koso raba hanta, kara raba la mani go raba kata, lakte infra kato lo paka te ya, iki kano tuliki lete kila te ya, lakte rata, rakte rata. Ikrano suratia, rakto prakete rakaturi amande, ipali ala kolo, ipali ana lavande, lakto palake korakate ya, ake rakasoya ba. 
Hangarina Maracote, Akatekea, 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 Ikikina Fro Bararada, Yakrozo Rabanda, Yakon de Rabalanto, Baraneko Toko Kapaya, Alarina Mango do Bale Karatapaka, Karakato Kurakatea, Lambrane Frasuraba, Rabale Goto Lobo Lobo Rakateaba, La Parana Maligoto Koratea, La Mande Kapaka Taka. Pakora lanta ingo rata kapa handalia jora bakana malita kapa haya. Oh glory to God! In the mighty name of Jesus, we are still praying. Oh, next we're going to pray against distractions, distractions, even the sickness. Some people are, could be distracted even by the sicknesses they've been suffering. But we we'll pray against the distractions. And declare that faith will be stirred up in the hearts of those in need of healing. In that they would receive that which the Lord has made available for them. Healing is available to you. It's available for everyone. Right where you are, whether in your home or you're on the road and you're watching on your device, wherever you are in the hospital. Let's pray against distractions. And the faith of God is stirred up in the hearts as they participate, as they listen to the testimonies, the worship and everything. Faith is stirred in the heart. And by their faith they will receive. Yes, the Lord says, be done unto you according to your faith. Faith is being stirred up. Go ahead, pray. We pray against distractions in the mighty name of Jesus. No, the sicknesses, the infirmities, the pains will not distract them. They will stay focused during the service as we worship, as we listen to testimonies, as we pray. Everyone will participate in the name of Jesus and the faith of God in your heart to be stirred up and they will receive the miracle. Yes, which the Lord has made available for them right where they are. Geraneko toko pakate la randa, gerana maraka toko pakate ya, ike ranego barani geta, la branengo rote kapaka ya, ikari na baliko to frante ya, barako trusti ya, rakato pranti ya, ike malira no follow la malia, gerana malaka toko pakate, granembro nonge seketeka, ge kapaleko toko pa, la koto parina malego romanena, i para la balaka toba ya. La manela koto koka maratovra grane sushefra prakisurati karaba araba la managara da bala bala karida bala katako angera la manda kaya yes your faith to prevail in the name of Jesus mangera taka pakote ya kera na malaka taka pakaya leke taka paketo akorata ya ike malena voto koma handa la nengo sora bakate ya ilara la bakoli na manda ya i pala de kokonesia Get it about la kata pakate, garane frondo sekataya. Yes, they'll take a hold of their healing. They take a hold of their miracles. In the name of Jesus, bakarana parakosota, la konde sombra radaya. Irata pali goto kurata kala palate, garita kala mane kolo pare da kalina manonda. Yes, all over the world, mange rata kapa kataya, ike rane voso kapa lataya, mange sora da ba. Faith is being stirred up in your heart, and they're receiving their miracles, they are receiving their healings. Mande for Koso Parataya, Kara Mango Toko Pakata Kalele Doya, Kemanana Malikoto Pahaya, Leda Balakata Kopa Katekesa, Iranagala Parakata Kapa Kenavonde, Latoko Praketaya, Gerata Kapa Korate, Lakoto Pakena Fodonsa, Rakoto Praketa, Laketo Parana Malonde, Imakela Namana Takaya. Is the hour of faith, is the hour of miracles, is the hour of healing all over the world. Bakaramana Kataya, men and women. Are receiving boys and girls, children everywhere. They are receiving their healings by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bake no fotokopaya. Gera na malata kapakato. Jono koto kopa rate. Rata kapale koto pa. Rate koma rakata bahaya. Ilara na mano kosetaya. Oh, precious Father, we thank you. 
we thank you because no distractions whatsoever but their faith is stirred he said this is the victory that overcomes the world this is the victory that overcomes the sickness even their faith by their faith they'll receive the healing they'll receive the miracles all over the world today oh lord we thank you we praise you we worship you for it for in jesus blessed name we have prayed amen thank you you may be seated praise god
Hallelujah. Would you just wave your hands to the Lord in worship? Yes, he's the risen king, the fullness of God revealed. God's love expressed so perfectly, completely to man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Now we are going into a very special segment of the program where we're going to hear from those who have been healed in previous editions of the Healing Streams Life Healing Service. Come back to testify, and to give thanks to God for the awesome miracles. And remember, what God does for one, he can do for another under the same circumstances. Every testimony is an opportunity for you to hear words, thoughts that will guide you in your faith and spark up faith for your own miracle. Praise the Lord. So join me now to welcome a highly esteemed member of the Central Executive Council, a senior minister at the Healing School, and the host of Real Miracles Today, Please give a warm welcome to the highly esteemed evangelist, Dr. Eddie Owase. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Glory to God. First and foremost, I want to express my profound gratitude to my father, my life coach, Reverend Dr. Chris Yahilome. Pastor, thank you so much for the opportunity to anchor this segment and for also affording me the opportunity to be involved with the healing ministry. I'm so very grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity of meeting with testifiers firsthand and for decades it's been so and have been exposed to God's miraculous power in the lives of people through the healing ministry of our man of God. Pastor, thank you so much. I'm so very grateful, and I'm grateful to you, sir, for even this program, Healing Streams Life, Healing Services. I know like all others we've had in the past, it's going to be a wonder. It's going to be great, and it's going to be glorious. Thank you so much, sir. I want to welcome everyone to this segment of the program, test, Life Testimony Segment. You know... Healing Streams Life Healing Services is one of the wonders of the world. It is from above. It's from God. And through the Healing Streams Life Healing Services, life has been brought to so many in the world, all around the globe. The sick has been healed. The dead has been brought back to life. And restoration has been brought to so many through the Healing Streams Life Healing Services. And we are grateful to God for this edition. We know that this is a very unique edition. And 
Of course, these healing streams means a lot to God. These healing streams means a lot to the church of Jesus Christ. These healing streams means a lot to the nations of the world. It is a game changer. It's ushering in a new dispensation in the whole world. And that is what it is. And already, right where you are, in your home, in your office, wherever you're participating from, God's power is evidently there. And you are in for a great time in the presence of God. So just be opened, open, open your spirit. And as you listen to the testimonies, let faith come to you. Listen to what the testifiers are saying. Listen to what their conditions were, what they had, what they said, what they did to change the condition. You're going to do exactly the same. And right where you are, there is no power that can stop you from receiving your miracle. This is the program you've been waiting for. This is the day you've been waiting for. And the time is now for your miracle. So I welcome you to this segment. Praise God, praise God. I have testifiers here, yes. Thank you. Glory to God. I have testifiers here from different parts of the world that have come to tell their story and to give thanks to God. And so we'll be taking the testimonies one after the other. And I want you to sit back at this moment, watch this video clip, and I'll be back for us to tell the rest of the story. Watch this. The year 2022 was a roller coaster ride for 52 year old Damis from Cuba, whose story began with severe depression. She experienced loss of pleasure in all activities, significant weight change, insomnia, anxiety, exhaustion, auditory verbal hallucinations, extreme feelings of guilt and worthlessness, trouble concentrating and recurrent suicidal ideations. All efforts by members of her immediate family to get her through these dark moments were ineffective as her mental state steadily declined beyond her ability to mask it. Months of psychotherapy and a mix of prescribed medications provided no relief and on the heels of multiple suicidal attempts and psychosis, she was admitted as an inpatient at a mental hospital. After several months of struggle and these crippling symptoms, Deimis got a lifeline when her husband's long search for a way out unfolded with the news of the Healing Streams live healing services with Pastor Chris. All the way from Cuba, Deimis embarked on a faith journey to the healing school for a wholesome experience with God's healing power. At the healing service, Deimis' highly anticipated moment of transformation came when the man of God, Pastor Chris, got to her and placed his hand on her chin, ministering the healing power of God to her. An invigorated Deimis stood and started running across the hall, glorifying the Lord for her miracle. Hallelujah! Ladies and gentlemen, Dea means is right in the house. All the way from Cuba, let's make welcome Dea means. Wow. Hallelujah. <laughs> Dear Miss, you're welcome. Thank you. And congratulations to you. Oh, praise God. Yes, can you tell us a story? What happened? Oh, praise God. Um, hallelujah. I'm so grateful to be here one more time since the Lord, uh, since this ministry, I'm alive. Yes, because um, 
we were serving in, in home churches and after um, the season of COVID. And then I suffered evil attacks uh, during the night, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., I started to experience something that came upon, him, upon me, and I started to be scared, and I started uh, to be afraid, and I couldn't sleep. I, start, I couldn't sleep nothing, nothing. Even I was praying, and my husband was praying for me, and that was getting worse and worse. Even I couldn't speak. I couldn't uh, get up of my, bread, oh, my bed, sorry. Uh, I couldn't go to work. I couldn't take a bath. I couldn't dress myself. I couldn't do anything. It was very uh, uh, stressful to do everything. I was very anxious. And then uh, even uh, I start then getting worse and worse. So uh, then I start to listen voices in my mind. Are they hearing voices? Yes, voices in my mind saying, you are worthy for nothing. You are no more child of God. Now you are my slave. And it was very hard. Even I, I tried to pray. It was very hard. Uh, and every night was the same. Even we were praying and praying. We went to several places to receive a prayer. But no solution. No solution. And it was getting, getting worse and worse. Uh, then one time, uh, because the operation was so hard, they said, that they are going to use me to destroy my husband, my family. Then I say to myself, I, I don't want, want to destroy my, my husband. And I prefer to kill myself. That's why I, I intend to suicide several times. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, I, I, I hang myself. Even I faint. I was, uh, in a, I was almost die. Uh, I, I know that the miracle of God was that the rope broke, so I, I, I could be alive now. I am alive now. And then uh, my husband, when, when he saw me uh, on the floor, almost faint but alive, uh, he started to call pastor friends to pray for me, but no solution. Even they took me in the, uh, in the psychiatric hospital, in order to sleep, because I couldn't sleep nothing, nothing, nothing. Then in order to receive injection to, to sleep. So, but I was getting worse and worse. And my husband uh, was uh, looking for a solution. So he... then I preferred to kill myself. That's why I tried to suicide several times. But the Lord didn't allow, allow that. Since God, since God. So my husband was looking in the form, a solution, and then he saw the uh, string healing. And he saw a lot of testimonies. And he had the faith that they're going to be healed in this place. So uh, he was the one... Uh, looking for help from some friends that we have here in Nigeria. And one friend was the one who, who um, was the one who, who paid for everything. Oh, then we could be here. But I, I was without faith. My husband only had the faith that I want to be here. But I said, even I couldn't speak, I, I have to write down. How come we are going to do that travel? We don't have money. We don't have the way to go. How come? And he has the faith. The Lord will provide. You will see the Lord will provide. <laughs> he, he will open a door. And it was like that. So I came here. And I um, came to the healing school. And uh, I started to receive. Uh, I, I, I see myself um, getting better and better. And then when Pastor Chris prayed for me, I was completing. <laughs> completely healed. Wow. I, I could speak. I couldn't speak like that. I could speak now. I, I, I couldn't dress myself. I dress myself now. I couldn't cook. I couldn't wash. I couldn't do anything. My husband was doing everything. 
Praise God, hallelujah. I thank <laughs> God because this ministry, and I know that the Lord is going to fulfill your healing today. Amen. Every one of you that are here, for sure, hallelujah, you are going to receive your healing. Hallelujah, because what happened to me is going to happen to you. Amen. I'm here. I am going to be here also. Praise God. <laughs> hallelujah. Amazing. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And somebody's watching you from Cuba right now. Yes, maybe, yes. Yeah, what would you like to tell that person? That person watching you and needs a healing. Talk to that person. When I want to say you that Jesus Christ is alive. Don't, don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. The, the devil can tell you that you're worthy for nothing. The devil can tell you that it's not hope. But in Christ Jesus, there is hope. So, hallelujah, I ask you that come here. Come here. You're going to receive deliverance. Or, 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 or also, you, you can connect in internet. Maybe you can come here, but you cannot. In internet, I'm going to receive deliverance. I am going to receive healing. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Praise God. God. What would you like to say to the man of God, Pastor Chris? I love you, Pastor Chris. Mm. The Lord bless you a lot. Thank you for the ministry that is helping so many people in the world. We love you. We love you. Un kiss for you. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Congratulations to you, dear means. Thank you. This is inspiring. Oh, praise God. Now you can laugh. Yes. Now you can talk. Yes. And you can do everything. Everything. I couldn't, praise the Lord. I couldn't read the Bible. I couldn't cry. I, could, I couldn't laugh. It's like, a, I was like a zombie. You couldn't laugh? You couldn't Nothing. cry? Nothing. No, I was like a zombie. I was a zombie. I don't know what, it, without expression in my face. And now you can see like me. Full of laughter. <laughs> Full of life. I'm alive. Oh, I'm alive. hallelujah. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm, I'm alive. alive. I'm alive. Glory I'm alive. alive. <laughs> Amen. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank bro. you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, brother. Glory to God. That same power that transformed Deramis is available for you today. And today is your day. Now is your time. Praise God. God's power is everywhere. It's right where you are. And again, I have another testimony. Just get ready for testimonies today. From one testimony to another. And I want to say to you, as you listen to these testimonies, faith coming to you, your miracles are taking place. Your healing is taking place right where you are. And of course, let us know immediately. As soon as you get hit, get in touch with us. I have another testimony. And stay back and watch this video clip. And we'll be right back to tell the rest of the story. Matteo from Switzerland was only 11 years old when he had an unfortunate accident that left him blind in his right eye. A visit to the optometrist revealed that the lens of the right eye was completely shattered as a result. This caused him complete loss of vision in his right eye. The doctor told him that he will never see again in the right eye. Glasses were prescribed to assist him but this did not help to improve his vision. He had to wear glasses constantly and this in turn caused him to have frequent headaches. All he could see on the right eye was darkness without the glasses and even with the glasses his vision was still limited. Due to this condition, the smart Matteo was rendered indisposed and he could barely play with his friends and even study. The doctors said there was nothing that they could do for Matteo and he lived with this condition for seven long years until he heard about the Healing Streams live healing services with Pastor Chris. 
It was a date with destiny when Mateo hooked up to participate in the program. The man of God, Pastor Chris, instructed the global audience to put their hands where they need a miracle. Just put your hand over that area of your body where you need a miracle, where you need a healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, you blind spirit, you come out of their eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. I restore sight to them in the name of Jesus. Find out what happened to him when he comes up to tell his story. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew is right in the house. Can we make welcome Matthew Bobby? All the way from Switzerland. Thank you so much, sir. Thank Matthew, you so you're looking so fine. Thank you so much, sir. Handsome guy. Thank you. Tell us, what happened to you? So, uh, first, I want to thank you and I want to thank our dear man of God for the opportunity of sitting here in front of every one of you. Blessed be God, because, yeah, I'm just so happy and so blessed to be in front of you right now. <laughs> so, um, it was eight years ago. I was 11 years old at the time. And uh, I was in school, and we had, like, a um, physics lesson. We like gymnastic, you know? And uh, one of my friends threw a kick at my right eye. But it was an accident. He did not mean to, to hurt me. Just, it happened like that. And... Directly after, I could not see anything with this eye. Like, it was completely dark. Yeah, with the right eye. From my eye, I could not see anything. So, my teacher told me that it was because of the shock, you know, because I've been hurt, but the vision would come back after. But um, I went back home. It was, I was still blind from my right eye. I could not see anything. So, at first, I thought maybe after, after I slept, the vision would come back, but... The next morning, I was still blind, so my mother took me to my doctor, and my doctor told us that we should go to the hospital. Uh, in my country, in Switzerland, we have a, a special hospital for uh, blind people, and the doctor there told me that the lens in my right eye was shattered, so I could not see anymore. Like, in my entire life, I would be blind from this eye. At the time, I was not born again, and I knew nothing about God, so I just took what they said for granted, and I said, okay, well, then I will be blind my, my entire life. How did you feel? I was very sad because my dream at the time was to be, um, I wanted to drive plane, if it's the right, the right term. I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to be a, 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 a pilot, yeah. <laughs> so because of that, I would not be able to, to, to do that. And I had to wait eight years in which I had to wear glasses with a strong filter. Like, they were not very thick, but I had a strong filter who gave me headaches. Every time I was coming back from school at home, I was just tired. I could not do anything. Like, I could not do homeworks. I just wanted to sleep because my head was painful. I was feeling dizzy. Um, because it was an accident, I'm not born with that condition, so my body could not adapt that so yeah i was feeling very very bad for eight years and on the beginning of 2023 a dear friend of mine talked to me about christ embassy uh, i knew nothing about god at the time so she told me about christ embassy and i looked it up on internet i started to search a little bit and i gave my life to christ on may 2023 <laughs> Thank you, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, glory be to God. Thank you. And uh, she told me about the, the healing stream. And at first I was like, nah, but now it's too late. You know, I'm going to have to live with that condition my entire life. And I was, not, I was not really believing what she was telling me. But she said, you have to follow the healing stream. You have to, you have to, you have to participate, even at home, like 
you have to participate. So in October, it was the October edition of the Healing Stream, Healing Services with Our Demon of God. I started to, to join the live. I watched everything. And at the end of the live, Our Demon of God prayed for the people who were watching the live at home. And he said, put a hand on the part of your body that needs a healing. So I was like, I heard a voice in my head that said, just do what Pastor Chris said. So I took my hand like that. I put it on my, on my eye and I started to pray in tongue with Pastor Chris. And when Pastor Chris said, the devil are cast out of your body, I removed my hand and I could see perfectly. <laughs> glory to God. Glory! Yeah. Hallelujah. Just... As simple as yes, that. Yes, as simple as that. I felt, I felt a, a great heat in my head, you know, but not, not a, a violent heat, you know, the, the heat that comforts you. I really felt a heat in my head. I removed my hand and I never touched my glasses since that day. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. I took my, gla the, my glasses were on my desk. I took my glasses, I did put them in a box, and I never touched my glasses again. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look, something interesting you said, which I think uh, everyone, the viewers, should take note of. You said you told yourself whatever pastor says for you to do, you will do. Yes. And when pastor says, put your hand yes. there. Yes. You followed the instructions. Yes, I followed, and I prayed with him the entire time. I never doubted. Never. You never doubted. Never. During my prayer, I was sure that I would be receiving my healing. What does this testimony mean to you? It means everything. <laughs> it means everything because if me, if I receive the healing, if my other brothers and sisters in Christ who are testifying today are receiving a healing, there is no one who cannot receive a healing. Yeah. Everyone here will be healed at the end of the night. Talk to someone watching you from Switzerland and from other parts of the world that need a miracle. <laughs> I, want, I want them to know that God loves you. God loves each of his children equally. And if, like, he's not going to give a miracle to someone and not giving it to you. You have to believe. There is nothing in this world that is more true than our God. You have to follow. You have to follow Yes, you have to follow the Bible. You have to follow what our Lord has to say because that's the truth. I want, uh, in October, uh, one of our brother in Christ told that what the doctor said were not what God told him and he was healed. He said the doctor, the doctor told him that they, he would never be healed and he said, but my God said that I was healed and my God is always right. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is, yes. It also happened to you the doctor told you you would never my see. My the doctor right told me you would never see. And as a little kid, I, I thought that what they were saying is true because they're doctors. And after that, I was like, but according to the Bible, I'm not supposed to be blind. So how come, how come can I be blind? And I prayed and now you see, I can see perfect. I never touch my glasses again. Never. And you will never. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you so much. And what would you like to say to the man of God, Pastor Chris? I love you so much, Pastor. You, you, give so much, you give so much for us. In every country, in Switzerland, your name is on every lips that I know. You I just want him to see in every country like how people are talking about him. I love you so much, Pastor. Sir. I love you so much. Thank you so much for everything you're doing for us. Matthew, thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. What a great God he is. His power opens blind eyes. His power restores anyone that is sick. His power is able to change any situation. And that power is available to you. Thank God you are connected to this program. Thank God you are participating. This is your moment. This is your day. If God could do it for these ones testifying, you can be rest assured 
that yours is now. Congratulations. There's no power that can stop you. And there's no man that can stop you. Congratulations. And I have yet another testimony. From testimony to testimony. Are you ready for this testimony? I just want to be sure because these testimonies are powerful. Okay, sit back, watch this, and I'll be right back to tell the rest of the story. Life was beautiful and wonderful for Begel Ma from Mongolia, who went about her day-to-day -day business without the slightest knowledge that life as she knew it was about to take a turn in the opposite direction. One day she suddenly started experiencing difficulty walking, difficulty breathing, while carrying out daily activities. A hurried trip to the doctors for further explanations turned up with the very saddening news of her diagnosis with rheumatic multiple valve disease, a condition in which the heart valves have been permanently damaged by rheumatic fever and pulmonary artery hypertension, a progressive disorder characterized by high blood pressure in the arteries of the lungs. Due to the severity of her condition, several medications were immediately administered as well as an urgent heart surgery. While she declined to undergo the surgery, she opted for a huge dose of medications, which did nothing to soothe her pain or provide her lasting relief. Due to the extent of her heart damage, she experienced several restrictions as she couldn't walk, cook, clean or carry out any physical activity independently. When all hope seemed lost, information about the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris made its way to her. Inspired by the testimonies of previous editions of the live services, Bagel May participated in the live healing services with great expectations to receive her miracle. The man of God ministered healing to the global audience, commanding the demons of infirmities out in the name of Jesus. I speak to every spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of their bodies right now. Come out of their bodies. I command the pains to cease in the name of Jesus. So keep watching to hear the rest of this most intriguing account of prevailing faith. Hallelujah! Ladies and gentlemen, Thy gamma is right in the house. Can we make welcome all the way from Mongolia? Thy gamma damba. Bagama, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, tell us your story. Расскажите нам вашу историю. Сегодня моя история будет очень коротка. Today my story will be very very short. Моя история о любви, о вере, о надежде, о дружбе. My story is about love, friendship, and um, of good feelings. В 2019 году я заболела сердечным заболеванием. У меня была сердечная недостаточность. In 2019 I started having a heart condition and I was diagnosed with heart insufficiency. И клапанное заболевание третьей степени. Мне нужно было срочная операция на сердце. And I had a mitral valve uh, insufficiency stage three, and I needed an urgent surgery. Я старалась в операцию не попадать, 
Но так случилось все до операции. Я должна была проходить ангиографию. I didn't want this surgery. day I couldn't walk myself I couldn't do normal things myself and couldn't breathe normally in my country 80% of the population are Buddhists my all of my relatives my great-grandparents grandparents my parents my brothers and sisters they're all Buddhists я тоже считалась буддисткой. And I also felt that I was a Buddhist. После очередного визита к врачу. by the fact that she's also a Mongolian and I, I was very interested in that. И эта история очень меня интересовала. После этого я начала читать книги пастора Христа. Я все время читала, думала, что он там думает, что он там пишет. Я подружилась с пастором Христом. И моя подружка записала меня в потоки исцеления пастора Христа. 
Uh, and uh, after that, I continued reading the magazines regularly and I started um, um, building an image inside of me of how Pastor Chris looked like because he was like a friend to me. Uh, and uh, so and my, one of my friends, uh, she invited me to the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. Когда мне стало лучше, я начала поправляться. So, uh, and then I became even better, and uh, I started recovering. Well, you, so you participated in the healing streams? Uh, or your friend invited you? Uh, когда ваша подруга пригласила вас, вы участвовали в потоках исцеления? Да, я участвовала в потоках исцеления по телевидору в, в онлайн виде. Uh, I was participating on screen. И после этого мне стало гораздо лучше. Я подумала, я, сдел... я видела этот зал. Я видела много людей, много больных, как они исцелялись, как они верили, как они любили, как они дружили. And I uh, saw that uh, hole on, I watched, when I watched, was watching the video and I saw many people who got their healings and I saw that, uh, how, how they acted and I saw lots of love and, and friendship in, in this house. Я всех их любила. And I also loved all of them when I was watching. Я всем им верила, что они все выздоровят. And I believed that they were all healed. They were how has it been with you since your, your testimony is very peculiar because you were reading the healing to the nations magazine and you kept reading from one edition to another and then you discovered that you have been healed and then you participated in that healing streams then what happened after and how are you now и ваше свидетельство, оно очень особенное, потому что, получается, вы читали э, журнал, э, много разных выпусков, и вам уже становилось лучше, и потом вы приняли участие в потоках исцеления. И так, что произошло после этой передачи? После этой передачи мне показалось, что во мне внутри что-то есть. Во мне произошло такое, что я даже сама себе не узнала. Мне подумала, что Бог у меня внутри, Он мне помогает, Он меня слушает. Я слушаю Его. Uh, after the program, I felt that there was something new inside of me, that God is inside of me, He's listening to me, He's helping me, and I'm also listening to Him. Я поняла, что я исцелилась. Я поняла, что у меня больше операций нету. После визита к врачу мне сказали, что операции не надо. And I, uh, I received that healing. I understood that I am healed and I don't need any uh, more operation. And then I went back to the doctors and they told me, yes, no, no urgent operation is needed oh, anymore. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Я очень люблю говорить слова дружба, вера, надежда, любовь. Я вас всех люблю. And I really love speaking about uh, love, friendship, about faith, and I love you all very much. Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> what would you like to say to someone in Mongolia watching you right now, someone who needs a miracle? Что бы вы хотели сказать кому-то из Монголии, кто прямо сейчас вас смотрит и кому тоже нужно чудо? Да, есть очень много сказать. Я сначала родителям не говорила, что я уже верю в Иисуса Христа. Но потом, когда я визировала, мне стало очень легко. Мне было много, очень много что рассказать. Я всем рассказала, своим подружкам, друзьям, родителям, что я верю в Иисуса Христа, я верю в пастора Христа. And and uh, before speaking to Mongolians, I wanted to add that uh, before, uh, after I received my healing, I started talking to my relatives who were Buddhist. I started telling them the story that I had been reading all these magazines all that time, that something had happened with me. And I started uh, telling my testimony to my friends, uh, to everyone around me, that there is healing in this God. God, in this faith. Я очень благодарна пастору Христу за то, что он пригласил меня на эту исповедь рассказать о себе. Я еще благодарна бизнесменам, которые помогли нам здесь все это выстроить. And I'm very thank grateful to Pastor Chris for being here, to being, for being a testifier uh, at this program. And I'm thankful to all the partners um, 
by whose help we are sitting here in this beautiful uh, hall and we are so happy to be here. Спасибо Thank большое. you very much. Thank you. Well, you were about to talk to someone who needs a miracle. Да, но нужно сказать что-то, что-то кому-то, кто нуждается в исцелении из Монголии и другим людям. Ага, я всем говорю, верьте, верьте, верьте. I tell everyone, believe, believe, believe. Верьте, верьте, and верьте. I got it right? Yes, спасибо. So, верьте, верьте, верьте. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bagaman. Congratulations to you. Thank you. God bless you. Glory, 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 glory. This is the day the Lord has made. This is your day. This is your moment. You know, listening to these testimonies should stir off fear in you. She just talked about um, um, the Healing to the Nations magazine. What that magazine did in her life. Reading through the magazine, we have lots and lots of testimonies from the Healing to the Nations magazine, even to the point of so many that have been raised back from death to life through the Healing to the Nations magazine. You know, this is your moment. A lot is happening in our world. And a lot is happening even through this program. And I dare say to you, as you participate in right where you are, even while listening to these testimonies, Miracles are already taking place. And you know what? Don't wait. As soon as you receive your miracle, send us a message. The details are on the screen. Let us know what has happened to you so we can rejoice with you and share your testimony. Praise God. Praise God. I have another testimony. But I want to be sure you're ready for this testimony. Are you ready for this testimony? You sure you're ready for this testimony? This is one testimony you'd need to hear. So I want you to sit back, watch this video, and then we'll be right back to tell the rest of the story. From his childhood, Stepan, a young man from Russia, was plagued with various allergies that were aggravated by different things such as food, dust, contact with pets and many more. Upon visiting the hospital, he was diagnosed with asthmatic bronchitis and allergic components. Breathing was very difficult for Stepan and he would often find himself in resuscitation departments of the hospital because the regular asthma pumps and sprays did not work for him. He couldn't enter a room that has dust, stuffy or stay close to someone wearing perfume. From the age of 18, he began to have convulsions. It was a serious convulsive situation that would last for about 5 to 30 minutes and sometimes even an hour. He lived on anti-convulsants. It was terrible because these convulsions would happen anywhere and at any time without warning. Stepan lived all his life with this condition and it restricted him and made him feel abnormal and recluse. On hearing about the Healing Streams live healing services with Pastor Chris, he set the time for his miracle. Stepan participated fully when the man of God began to pray for those participating around the world. I command the sickness to stop. I command the infirmity to cease in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed in your body. Keep watching as Stepan comes up to tell what happened after his divine encounter. Hallelujah!
Ladies and gentlemen, Stepan is in the house. All the way from Russia. Let's make welcome Stepan. Stepan, you're welcome. Добро пожаловать, Степан. Thank you. Are you a sportsman? Sorry. Are you a sportsman? А вы спортсмен? Do you do sports? Нет, я не спортсмен. Я просто счастлив. I'm just so happy. Вообще чудо, что я вообще могу здесь быть. It's a big miracle that I can be here. Потому что два заболевания, которые меня преследовали до онлайн показа потока исцеления просто не позва не позволили бы мне быть здесь. Because the two uh, conditions that I had before uh, the healing streams would just not allow me uh, to be here, just never. Я бы, наверное, уже два раза в реанимации был. Maybe um, through the way, um, on the way from Russia to uh, Lagos, I would be in resuscitation department twice. Один раз это судорожный синдром. First time, uh, with convulsions. А второе аллергическая астма. And the second one is al uh, alert, asthma with alert allergies. Two conditions, right? Convulsion and asthma. Два заболевания uh, это судороги и астма. Yes, that's right. Tell us the story. Расскажите нам свою историю. Чудес не бывает маленьких у Господа. There are no small miracles in the Lord. Absolutely. И если ты хоть сколько нибудь веришь, Бог тебя исцелит тут. Even if you have a very little faith, you will be healed by God here. Yes, amen. Я в детстве переболел заболеванием легких, и с этого момента начались аллергия и астма. Uh, when I was a little child, I had a disease in my lungs, and from that time, I started developing allergies and asthma. Аллергия проявлялась на резкий запах, на одеколон. Я не мог этим пользоваться. Проявлялась даже на мои волосы. То есть я стригся только дома, потому что если волосы попадали, сразу было раздражение. Аллергия была на шампуни. Аллергия была на... <laughs> so, uh, I had very strong allergies. I had an allergy to uh, strong scents, to perfumes. I couldn't wear perfume myself. I had allergy to even my own hair that was cut. I couldn't go to the hairdresser. I did everything at home. Uh, когда мне сделали... Mm, когда я первый раз попал uh, в реанимацию с отеком бронхих, Тогда сделали тесты на аллергию, и врач сказал, как ты вообще живешь. When I first, uh, at first uh, went to, was rushed to hospital with uh, bronchial edema, uh, doctors took the tests uh, for allergies, and they got results, and they came back to me and asked, why are you even living with all of this? Я, смо, я мог есть мороженое, там какая-то добавка, и у меня сразу же отек бронхов. For example, I, I would eat an ice cream and there was something added into the ice, ice cream and I immediately had bronchial edema. Если кто-то пользовался маслом, мне нужно искать срочно какой-то баллончик, потому что астма сразу же, uh, что меня, ну, uh, как-то отключало, да? Yeah, if someone was using oils or perfumes near me, I would rush for my uh, inhaler because the asthma would just uh, black me out. Представляете, я даже в зоопарк не мог ходить, потому что э, там животные, и у меня на животные, на шерсть тоже э, проявлялась вот эта астма. Астма проявлялась даже вот душно, э, ветер, э, резкий запах, то есть постоянно с астматическим баллончиком. И это все в, 
возрастала так, что по пять раз в день я мог пользоваться астматическим баллончиком. Шесть месяцев назад я пришел в церковь к пастору Ирины. Это все просмотреть. И когда я онлайн смотрел uh, первый день, online, one, я понял, что Бог вчера и сегодня и завтра тот же. Когда пастор Крис возлагал руки, молился, я видел вот эту славу Божию, я сказал, я хочу быть на первом ряду, я хочу быть здесь. Первый день я отключил все телефоны, я сказал, что меня нигде нет. Я был сосредоточен только на видеотрансляции. То есть это поклонение значит поклонение, слово значит слово. Я говорил все, что говорил делать пастор Крис. В этот день ничего не произошло. But nothing happened on day one. Но второй день But on the second day, я утром проснулся с целью, что скоро будут потоки исцеления. Я перематывал первый день And I was watching over and over again day number one. И смотрел те моменты, когда пастор Крис воскладывал руки на лежачих, кто в инвалидном кресле, кто вот на этих рядах. Я мотал только эти моменты, пересматривал, мотал эти моменты, пересматривал. Я хотел, чтобы мой мозг не сомневался в Слове Бога. Начались потоки исцеления вторые, но в этот момент я ехал с работы в маршрутке, я не успевал, общественный транспорт. Я смотрю по телефону, у меня наушники. И пастор, да, в автобусе. И пастор Крис говорит... And Pastor Chris was saying, в имени Иисуса Христа in the name of Jesus, вся власть there is all и power сила. And all might. Повернись троим, скажи, что имя Иисуса Христа может тебя исцелить. Повернись, скажи. Я дал себе слово, что я буду делать все, что говорит Он. And я повернулся и сказал. В автобусе. Yes. Я сказал, Иисус может тебя исцелить. Иисус может тебя исцелить. Иисус может тебя исцелить. А в этот момент рядом был человек, у которого а, вот парфюм очень такой. And uh, at this very moment there was a person near me who was wearing a very strong perfume. Я начинаю задыхаться. And I started suffocating. I started suffocating. И я уже ищу где. And I was looking for my inhaler, for my spray. И когда я говорил, что Иисус тебя исцелит, имя Иисуса тебя исцелит, имя Иисуса тебя исцелит, имя Иисуса тебя исцелит, я начал дышать. И знаете... И хочу сказать, 
Также пастор сказал Крис, что теперь ты должен делать все, что ты раньше не делал. Я никогда не стригся в парикмахерских салонах. Я пошел туда, я сел. I меня постригли, down. помыли, нету аллергии. У меня не было дома никогда животных. I, то есть мне нельзя было. Можно посмотреть. Сегодня у меня есть кот. Я е, вот он он, я с ним живу. И, между прочим, я ем морепродукты, которые никогда в жизни and не I, ел. And I'm eating their seafood, у меня на них была страшная астма и аллергия. Я забыл, что такое баллончики. Я забыл, что такое не есть. Вот кто со мной прилетели, они смотрят, Степан все ест. Я радуюсь, что я могу все есть. Is listening to you. Скажите что-то тем, кто, кому нужно исцеление. Кто-то кто здесь прямо ждет исцеления. Говорите им. И тем, кто онлайн тоже. Uh, духовный мир есть. The, the spiritual world does exist. И он сейчас нас слышит. And it uh, hears, us, hears us right now. У меня с 28 лет были судороги, ну, как эпилепсия, никто не мог причину узнать. Uh, from, uh, from like epilepsy, no the cause, the Ни один диагноз не подтверждал, что это эпилепсия. No diagnosis could prove that it was actually epilepsy. Но припадки могли быть... Uh, даже полчаса и даже час. Потом могла не работать нога неделю. Then, uh, my leg, uh, could stop for a week. Рука могла не работать ни, ни, неделю. Could, could Я мог uh, не видеть вещи неделю. I could stop for a, for a week. Потом все нормально. And then it again. И я сидел на серьезных препаратах. And I was taking very serious drugs. Бог мне свидетель. Сегодня ни одного препарата и после потоков исцеления ни одного повторения сундружного синдрома. Аллилуйя. God is my witness that after the healing streams, life healing service, I take no more meds oh, and have no convulsions at all. Glory, glory. Бог здесь и сейчас тот же, и я скажу вам, что Бог здесь действует. The same God is here now, and He is at work right now. И я послал это видео свое маленькое, потому что я думал, оно маленькое свидетельство, и я не знал, что я буду здесь. And I showed a, a very short video of my testimony. I, I didn't know I would come here, so I sent this short testimony. Я здесь, и я хочу тебе сказать. Uh, I sent it here to Lagos, but now I'm here, and I want to tell you. Не стесняйся верить. Не стесняйся говорить всем, что ты исцелен. Стой на этом исцелении, ты получишь это исцеление. И все, кто сейчас смотрят, Божья рука через потока, через пастора Криса и через камеру работает. Что бы вы хотели сказать мужу Божьему, пастору Крису? Бог через... Он говорил в мой дух. He was, uh, into my Был момент, когда пастор Крис взял одного человека, который лежал во, втор... во втором дне. Uh, on the second day, Pastor Chris took one person who was on the bed. Он его взял. 
He took him by hand. И не отпускал. And, uh, and kept holding his hand. И шел молился за других людей. And he was praying for others, still holding his hand. И я тогда сказал, я там буду. Это я. Он and меня I, держит за руку. And at that time I said, that's me. He's holding my hand. И до сих пор я чувствую, and I'm still feeling, что вот эта сила пастора Криса, как, как, как духовного наставника, как начало чудес в моей жизни, он всегда, то есть, он держит, для меня он, он папа, который держит меня за руку. This power is still holding my hand. He's like my father who is holding my hand. Oh. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you. Alleluia. Oh, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God. And listen to these. Instructions are very important. Listening to him says a lot about what instructions can do in your life. You've got to pay attention to everything happening. And whatever the man of God says for you to do, just go ahead and do it. And there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. Just think about, he was in Russia in the boss. But she carried out the instruction and the miracle took place right in the boss. You might be participating at home or in your car, in the hospital, or in the bus, wherever the power of God is there right now. Congratulations to you, Stefan. Thank you, and God bless you. Glory, 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 glory. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive. Glory to God. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? We have an online testifier. Oh, pause. We'll be back to take the live testifiers, the last two that we have. Well, let's hear from the online testifier all the way from the United States of America. And here we have Malachi with happy with with yeah with his parents. <laughs> and uh, that is some <laughs> Bethany and Simba. Good to have you. Hello. Congratulations to you. Hello, thank you. Just seeing your smiles tell the whole story. <laughs> Yeah, we'd like to hear from you. Tell us the story, what happened. Okay, okay so last year, um, the end of May 2023, our son, he was about eight months old. Um, he started getting really sick. We took him into the hospital here in our town um, twice. They sent us home once, and then the second time, um, they said... We have to send you to a bigger city. Um, he has a really bad pneumonia and he had a pocket of infection on the outside of his lung called an empyema um, and also air on the outside of his lung called a pneumothorax. So we they sent us to the bigger hospital um, in our capital city and um, we got there and he had to have some procedures done to put tubes, chest tubes into those areas around the lung to drain them. 
But when they took him down to, they had to put him to sleep for that. And when they took him down to do that procedure, they placed the tubes. And then um, he did not wake up from that. He couldn't breathe on his own when they tried to take him off of the support. So he ended up, the picture you ju they just showed, um, he was in that condition for about a week. He had, he was on a ventilator, a breathing tube, a feeding tube, catheter, IVs, IVs going straight to his heart, um, tubes everywhere. He just, it was terrible. He was swollen. He looked like he was three years old. He was so big and puffy and um, they had to give him medicine for that. Um, and it was at that time that our faith really peaked because, you know, there was a moment that I just fell to the floor and I said, you know, I can't lose my son. Um, I, and it was in that moment that I decided you know, we're giving this to God. The doctors can do the best they can do, but this is, God is going to fix this. Um, so from every single day, all day long, my husband and I, we played love world music, uh, worship music. We made confessions over our son. We prayed, we had various, you know, many people praying for him. Um, we just continued to do that every day. We never lost faith. We knew he would come out of it. That that was the only option. That's all we saw. <clears throat> so we did that um, each day. You know, things would, so one thing would get a little better. Then another problem would come up. And then the next day, another, that problem would get better. And another, it was just up and down, up and down. But eventually yeah. they, he was on in that condition for about seven days. And then slowly they took him off tubes, you know, every few days a, a, another tube would come out. And eventually we progressed to, we were in the hospital for almost a month. Um, we were there until the end of June. Um, and the main issues, you know, the acute problems were treated, but um, we went home. He still had a a catheter oh, that went in his yeah. leg up to his heart that we had to go to um, get antibiotic treatments every day for six weeks after we left the hospital. Um, so he had an IV in his leg and we had to keep that wrapped and secure and everything for oh, that for six weeks. So that took us into July and the um, oh, July healing services were coming up. We had already decided we were registering him for that. Um, in, in the time that right before the healing services, we went for a checkup in the capital city. They did a cat, a, another scan of his lung. And they said that there was still a little air bubble around his lung that that should go away, but that there was a new problem that, they weren't sure if it was from the infection. They weren't sure exactly what caused it, but it was called a pneumoseal. And it was basically a big air bubble inside his lung. Whereas the other air bubble was outside of the lung. This one was inside the lower lobe of his lung. And the we were referred to surgeons for that. And they said that when he turned like a year old, they would probably have to go in and surgically remove a, a, the lower lobe of his lung. And he would just have to compensate for that as he grew. And that was scary. So we really didn't want that. So we're like, we got to get him registered for healing streams. They told us that they thought something was wrong with his immune system, that he needed testing for his immune system because for him to get such a bad uh, necrotizing pneumonia is what they called it for him to get that bad of an infection. They thought something was wrong with his immune system. And then he also had a bad allergy to peanuts that we had figured out previous to all of this. So we're going for the antibiotics every day. Um, the healing streams came up in July. Um, and I was actually, my, my, Pastor Chris was getting ready to pray and my son had fallen asleep. And so he was laying on me and I was just holding him. And, um, 
when pastor started praying, I just wrapped my arms around him, tried to cover his whole little body because there's so much going on in his little body that I didn't know where to touch exactly. Um, and as pastor Chris was praying, this little guy popped his head up, started <laughs> praising the Lord. He Ooh, was hallelujah. Just, just started Glory. <laughs> Glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Ah! So, you know, I was, and I knew he was going to be healed. You know, that was just my confirmation <laughs> that when he started doing that. And um, so it just so happened we had appointments for all of these issues on August 1st. We went back to the capital city. Mm. That was after um, the healing streams, right? After the program. What? That was after the program. Yes, after the program in August, August 1st, after healing streams, just a week or two after healing streams, um, we went back. We had another scan of his lungs. We went to the doctor's office to get the results for that. And he showed us the screen and he said it was completely gone. The, <laughs> the air that Glory. Was completely gone. Completely, said, gone. completely gone. He said, we don't need to even see you back for a checkup. Everything is healed. Um, and then uh, he had blood work done and all sorts of tests done on his immune system and for allergies. And that took us like a week to get the results, but they called us and said, everything in his immune system is normal. He has normal. no allergies, no oh, allergies. hallelujah. Um, no. <laughs> everything came back normal. He is completely healed. Praise <laughs> Jesus. I love the way that dad is laughing. I'm sure, that, <laughs> I'm sure that was the day you couldn't laugh like this. Hey, there was. Stay, yeah, talk to sleep. us. Simba, what would you like to say to someone who needs a miracle for his or her child right now? Okay, this is what I'll say. You know, when you go to the doctor, the doctor gives you a prescription and he says, take these pills morning, afternoon, and night. And you follow everything that the doctor tells you because you want results. Now, tonight, Pastor Chris he is delivering and distributing healing prescriptions from the heavenly realm so i would like to advise everyone watching no matter what sickness it is no matter what sickness it is listen and follow to each and every instruction that the man of god is going to be given because that's where the secret is if pastor chris says jump jump if he says sleep sleep if he says go and eat go and eat <laughs> whatever he says put your hands I love on what your guys doing. If Amazing. Put the hands on the leg, like he said. And that sickness will evacuate. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Can I ask something for parents, <laughs> mothers? Um, I know when your child is sick and you're helpless and you lose hope Ooh. and you're in a desperate situation i i never felt more desperate in my life when my son was sick and i just have to say don't don't lose hope don't lose faith you can lose happiness you can lose energy you can lose lose anything else do not lose your faith give it to god god loves all of his children and he wants us all healed happy safe and he if he did it for us am I, you know, you hear about miracles happening and you think, oh, that never happened to me. It can, it will. I probably thought that many times and it can happen. Just keep your Pastor, faith, register Pastor, for healing streams and Pastor. listen to Pastor Chris. All right. Thank you so much, Bethany. What would you like to say to the man of God, Pastor Chris? Oh, I don't even know. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you doesn't even lives revolve around you and the work that you do. My I I was introduced to you, Pastor Chris. 
not a day goes by that we don't mention your name, talk about something you said, do something you said to do. I, um, I listen to you when I work out. It gives me, it gives me encouragement and, and energy. I don't even know how to explain it. You're just, you, you do so much selflessly. I thank you for your sacrifice, your time, your energy. Thank you for sharing the word. Thank you for teaching the world, God's word in such a understanding way. So, you know, it's easy to grasp. I don't know. I, I could go on and on. Thank you so much. We love you. Our family loves you. We tell everybody about you. We love you so much and we thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much, Bethany. Thank you, Simba. And congratulations to you, Malachi. Congratulations. You. So you enjoy the rest of the program. Okay, can we do one thing? Every day you are my portion. Every day my cup overflows. Jesus, your glory is my strength. In your favor, my heart is exalted. Every day you load me with benefits. Every day your mercies I see. Oh, Lord, your testimonies are sure. I rejoice in you, the God of my salvation. Every day. I'm alive. You know, you just heard from Bethany Simba and what profound statements. The same God, the same power that transformed their son will do it for you today. All that it requires is you. Just follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. That's all you need to do. Just like we heard from them. And you know what? That brings us to the life testifiers. The remaining two that we have for today. And ladies and gentlemen, these are testimonies you need to hear. And I can tell you already, miracles are taking place right where you are. Amen. I want you to sit back, watch this video clip, and we'll be right back to tell the rest of the story. Watch this. Life for 20-year-old Lushoma from Zambia was just beginning to thrive when her unfortunate ordeal began in the year 2021, initially manifesting itself as an injury on her right foot she immediately dismissed it as something minor and thus proceeded to treat it as a regular foot injury. However, despite all self-prescribed remedies, the injury persisted, causing her incessant pain and within a short period, speedily deteriorated into large open sores. Troubled by this, she visited the hospital where she was diagnosed with cancer, which was fast metastasizing to other parts of the body. Immediate treatments to impede the spread were chemotherapy and several other medications. However, despite these attempts, the symptoms degenerated so fast. This condition robbed her of every chance to live a healthy, normal life as the bleeding and odorous discharge of pus from the sore forced her to adopt a secluded lifestyle. The insufferable and piercing pain took a toll on her body, rendering her incapacitated. She was forced to rely on others for assistance with simple things such as bathing, walking, using the restroom. 
further complicating her ordeal, she was forced to withdraw from the hospital due to a lack of funds and the administration of prescribed medication was consequently discontinued. Emotionally and financially drained and devastated by the drastic turn of events, all hope seemed lost until the Shomu's opportunity for divine intervention came with news about the Healing Streams live healing services with Pastor Chris. With her faith stirred and hope rekindled for a miracle, she registered and participated in the live healing services. During the services, the man of God, Pastor Chris, compassionately prayed for the sick around the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, Satan has no chance. Be healed right now, you devil of pain, you demons of cancer, come out of their bodies, let them go, get out of their bodies. Something spectacular happened to Neshoma. The sores and wounds on the legs are completely healed. This is the love of God manifested in Neshoma's life. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, Neshoma is in the house. All the way from Zambia. Let's make welcome Lushama Piri. Wow. Lushama. This is you. You have a story to tell. Tell us your story. Thank you, Pastor Sir. First and foremost, I would like to thank my, I would like to show my sincere greetings to my man of God, Pastor Chris Oyaki Lome, my man of God from Zambia, Doctor, Pastor Dr. Cholwe Cholwe, not forgetting my branch pastor, Pastor Peter. Pastor Sir, I love you so much. I love you so much, Pastor Chris, because I, have, I wouldn't have made it up to here if it weren't for you. Going, you know, um, seeing this video being aired and, uh, you know, seeing something that actually happened to you and... Uh, you see people suffering with all these diseases and you ask yourself, why can't I just go and lay a hand on that person and they get a healing? I'm telling you my story is one critical story, but I'm here today. So my story started when I had just passed my grade 10. I went to a boarding school. I was so excited because I had gone there with good marks. I was the highest at school. So at that moment, I discovered that I started having uh, bone problems where like my bones started aching all of a sudden. Uh, my hands were paining all of a sudden, which I didn't know what it was. So I decided to inform my mother about it to say, Mom, this is what I'm going through right now. My bones, they ache. Uh, my hand bones, my leg bones, they hate. I don't know what it is. And so sometimes I don't actually go to class because of that same problem. So when I went uh, for a holiday that is back home, my mom decided to go and do some further checkups at the hospital. So when I went there, they, they actually suspected that it would be arthritis in the sense that, you know, I love eating meat. So they suspected that I could actually have arthritis. So they decided to do an arthritis test. So after doing that arthritis test, uh, they discovered that the, 
the test actually came out non-reactive, meaning it was negative. I didn't have arthritis. So the question was, what was it? So from there now, after the pain was gone, I decided to go back to school and forget about everything. But the signs started when I started experiencing swollen feet and hands, actually. And then it was so painful at that moment because I had stopped going to school. I couldn't walk anymore. So they decided to send me back home because I was sick. I was ill. So that meant... By then, I remember that I was in my grade 10 and uh, I was just about two years from completing my education. That is grade 11 and grade 12. Then I finished. So I went back home. I stayed home for good uh, two years. And then and um, that was in uh, 2019. They they decided to do a further checkup about my condition because it was getting worse where my skin started uh, being gray and then, you know, big wounds started popping up as you would see from the video. They started popping up from my skin. Uh, you know, blood would come out. And then so they, 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 they said, no, I think this is something else. It's not arthritis. It couldn't be amethod arthritis as we claim. Let's do a further checkup. When, they, when the doctor actually checked on me that day, I remember checking, he, he checked in my mouth. I don't know what he saw. I don't know what the symptoms of cancer are. But on that day, he told my mother to say, sorry, mother, but I think your daughter has cancer. We are suspecting that she has got cancer because we're seeing the symptoms of cancer on her. That was so terrifying to me because I was just near mom as the doctor was trying to explain that to, 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 to her. So I, I thought, okay, um, I have cancer and, uh, uh, and, uh, so it means, you know, you know, the moment you hear the word cancer, you think it's over for you. Obviously, you only have some, some days to live. You, you know that probably someday you're going to die and everything. And then after that, I remember weeping. And then the doctor realized that I was so emotional. So she told, she told me to go outside. And then they were, started talking with mom. And there outside, I was just crying to say, how come I've got a cancer? No one in my family has cancer. How, how come me? And then my mom came out of the room and told me, my daughter, we just have to go and do the test because they are suspecting that it could be cancer. I was so heartbroken because no one in my family has that condition. So some weeks passed, and then we decided to go to a hospital, a bigger hospital in Zambia known as CDH. It deals specifically with uh, cancer. CDH, it's, um, it's a cancer disease hospital. That's what uh, it's called. So now I had to go there. When I reached there, they did their tests, and so unfortunately, they told me I had cancer. It was so painful for me, so painful that it meant that I was, I was supposed to stop school, and I couldn't go back to school because of the treatment You know, it became so, so bad. Every day it became worse. So they decided to start the treatment immediately. So after the treatment, they realized to say, no matter what kind of treatment they give me at that point, I couldn't actually respond to the medication. I couldn't respond to the chemotherapy. So they decided to transfer me to another clinic within that hospital. At first, I used to be treated at clinic three within CDH. Now they had to transfer me to another clinic, which is dealing with higher cases, uh, more dangerous cases of uh, cancer. So I started my, my treatment that side. When I reached there first, actually, they did my first dosage. After this first dosage, they said, <laughs> we don't know, but we are just trying. 
And then the other time I remember going there, going to one of my reviews, and I was supposed to actually get my chemotherapy the same day after getting my blood draw. The doctor just came to my mom, looked at my condition, and shook his head. He was like, we don't know if we'll manage, but I think your daughter will try. But we are trying, we are trying what we can do, but there is actually, we don't know if we'll manage because I think you brought your child late. So after that, my mom was so heartbroken, so heartbroken, broken, knowing to say my firstborn is not going to finish her education. She's not going to achieve her dreams because all of this, you know, disease that has come into her life, growing up an intelligent child, and then you just end up stopping there. So from there now, um, the doctor gave my mother a prescription of the medication. And then I looked at the pre prescription, which was, that was the most Im so painful part again, in the sense that I knew to say my mother wasn't going to afford the medication written on that prescription. So I looked at the prescription and it so hurted me that I wept. And the doctor saw that. He came to me and asked me, what's the problem? Um, are you okay? Then I was like... Doctor, honestly speaking, I am not because I know for sure that prescription you're giving us, my mom is not going to afford to buy that medication. And then the doctor couldn't do anything at that point. He just went inside and then called mom to get the prescription that he wrote. And then we, that's how we decided to actually leave the hospital. We left the hospital um, up Actually, let me not go further. Before we left the hospital, I was so hurt that I thought no one could help me anymore. If the doctor walked away from my presence without doing anything, then who is going to help me next? I'm telling you, it was so painful that no one was there to help me, not including my family members. They all turned their back on us. I looked down and it was so heavy for me. It was like, you know, my grave has just called me. I cried out to God in a secret voice. I told God to say, God, please help me. I need your help. From there, my mom got me. She carried me on her back because I couldn't walk. Um, a person who couldn't walk, I, I, they, could, they used to use a wheelchair for me to be taken into the hospital. So coming out, it, you could leave the wheelchair inside. So meaning she had to carry me. So the moment she carried me going outside, so luckily God answered my prayers. Oh man, Tariba Sata. I'm telling you upon just by the entrance as we were coming out. There's this sister from our church, Sister Dawn Hamilton. She's in the United States right now. She was actually ministering to the sick. She went for evangelism at that point. So it is at that same point that she was coming from a certain clinic nearby. So she saw us. I don't know what touched her so. You know when you are led by the Spirit, you work. You work. The Holy Spirit will inspire you into doing great things. So now, Sister Dawn came direct to my mom and tapped her. After tapping her, she told my mother, Sorry, mom, but I think your daughter's condition has touched me. I don't know. I wanted to pass you by, but my spirit just refused to say I need to approach you and talk to you. That's how now my mom started talking to Sister Dawn. Upon talking to her, Sister Dawn asked where we stayed, and my mom explained exactly where we are coming from. And then she gave my mother a card to say, this is my business card. The moment you want to take her back for her next session, since you are, selling, you are telling me that they have given you a prescription to buy her medication, the next time you, wanna, you want to come to the hospital, just tell me, and I'll actually send you the money to pay for her injection drug. So miraculous. And then after that, 
that woman didn't actually stop there. I actually, it came a time when I was supposed to go and do my chemo. I went to do my chemo. I came back. I thanked her for that. But she still continued coming to visit my place, you know, teaching me the word of God, encouraging me, even telling me to say, my daughter, this is going to pass. We are going to, we are actually going to eat some hungry lion one day and joke about this. I thought it was some, you know, you know, when you're in pain and someone is telling you that you are, you are just thinking probably they're just trying to amuse you and make you laugh or something. But her word came to pass. It's um, a week later, there was healing stream happening at G's uh, gospel envoys. So she came to my place and then she told me, she told my mom that she would actually want to register me for healing streams. And then my mom accepted at that point, everything went well because she was someone, she was someone whom she was very familiar with. She accepted. But the day when I was supposed to go for healing stream, oh, it's like the devil striked again. My mom all of a sudden changed her mind. She started refusing to say, I cannot take my daughter to a Sunday church. We are Sabbath keepers. We do not worship other churches. Ugh. It was quite chaotic. The woman of God was very patient to the point that she got on her knees. She was very persistent. Oh, you people who are sent by God, be persistent. She was very persistent to the point that she knelt on the knees to my mom. My mom is a very critical person whereby when she means something, you cannot change her mind. But that day, God was with her and her mind got changed. She, she got me forcibly, you know, she, whereby like you just grab your child, you don't want to, just tell her, ah, just come here. Okay, you want to go. You, are, you, you even want to go. Just come. You, you, you put your, your daughter on her, your back and then you, you, you take her to the car. And then that's how she went. She didn't even actually comb her hair because, you know, she was annoyed. She didn't want to go in short. So after that, she took me to the church where the healing streams were commencing. I entered the church on my mom's back. Listen. I want you to listen. I was someone who was entangled by the snares of the devil, relying on a wheelchair, busy, relying on my mom's back for me to do. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't eat by myself. I couldn't bath by myself. I couldn't, you know, even answer the call of nature by myself. My mom had to bring a pot nearby so that she helps me to sit on it to, for me to answer the call of nature. This is very serious. People of God, after that, after entering the church, oh, I came on my mom's back. I couldn't sit on the chair by myself because the wounds were very painful. As you saw from the picture, they were very big. My whole body could ache and I couldn't even sit on a normal chair because the chair itself was also painful. So what she did was uh, she actually, they actually, in, oh, sorry, they actually brought a mattress in front of the church and then made me to sit on that mattress for me to hear the word as the man of God is going to be ministering. After the, minister, uh, after, after the man of God uh, stopped preaching, the praise team, uh, glorifying God, he started uh, healing the sick, those who came here in Nigeria physically. So I saw people, you know, people uh, throwing away their wheelchairs, coming from their wheelchairs, people on their sick beds, standing up rejoicefully, gaining their miracle, receiving grace by God. Oh, I was touched. I've been suffering for all these years and people just today, they are able to get their healing. I was very touched and I knew I was in the right place. Oh, when I saw... When I saw that, it stirred my spirit more. 
it stirred my spirit more because I knew not tomorrow, not the day after tomorrow, but today I'm receiving my healing. And at that point, after the man of God had stopped praying for the sick who came physically here in Nigeria, he started uh, praying for those now outside, like on media. And then they told um, any minister of God to actually touch where the sick person uh, is affected. So the, the men, men and women of God, Sister Dawn and the other sister from church came and actually touched on my leg. So when the man of God started praying, it's like he was directly speaking to me. Directly speaking to me like, I command the cancers to go. I command the sickness to leave your body. Oh, the moment he was saying those words, it's like two angels were seated aside me. I felt the glory of God. I felt the breeze from my head entering to my feet. After that, oh, glory be to God. When I speak like this, I still feel like it's today. I'm telling you, you who is in the wheelchair, you're going to get up. Not tomorrow, but today. Yeah. Today, it's your day. My sister, today, it's your day. Oh, I told myself to say, I'm not, this, this cup won't pass me. Those were able to get healed. I'm getting my healing. So I told, I talked to my Lord like he was near me. I told him the same way I prayed that silent prayer. I said, Jesus, please do not pass me by. The same way you are healing those people in Nigeria, I mean Zambia, nothing is impossible for you. Your hand is not too short for me to get healed. I'm telling you on that very day, on that very day, I received my healing. Glory oh, be hallelujah. to God. Oh, hallelujah. You received your healing. And so, this is the most good part. I realized that after the prayer, I realized to say I couldn't move my body from left to right. So, at, it's at that point now I discovered to say I would move my body from left to right and I could look at the people behind me. I looked at everyone and everyone was just looking at me and... You know, my mom was surprised. I could see people coming out from their chair simply because of how stinky I became. And it was normal for me because I understood that they were running away from my bad order. So it is at that point I received my healing and I stood up. She helped me stand up. And then I was like, no, don't help me. I'm fine. Are you sure, Lushomo, you're fine? No, no, I'm fine. And this Hallelujah. is how I stood oh, up. Hallelujah. I stood up. I could feel my legs. From feeling my legs, I tapped them like this. From tapping my legs, I was like, no, I came on my mother's back. Uh -uh. I need to find out if my legs are okay. Let me go back from the door where I entered from so that I find out if my legs are working again. Oh, so I started running. <laughs> I ran. I ran. I ran. I ran. Oh, I ran. <laughs> okay, you call. Hi. 
God's power is great. I'm telling you, since that time, I didn't want to sit again. And then Pastor Sao was like, look at her. She doesn't even want to take her chair. I stood for the whole service and the whole church was amazed because they saw what God had done at that point through the man of God, Pastor Chris. It was overjoyed. Everyone was just glorifying God and I was there raising my hands telling what God to say, oh, thank you. Please go. What about the souls? What about the souls? Oh, the souls are gone. The souls in the next, uh, after my healing, that was uh, actually on Sunday. Oh, that was actually on the Sabbath. On Sunday, I went to church. After attending church service, I was walking. I was walking when I came back. All my neighbors were like, oh, that's really a miracle. How come she's able to walk? And everyone, my, all my neighbors wanted to actually visit my church because they had seen what was going on. So now, um, the, on Monday, I discovered to say the blood that used to come out, the pain that I used to feel completely finished. Oh, hallelujah. The wounds. My dear brothers and sisters, we are shrinking. The growth started shrinking. All the, by, by Friday, all the wounds were gone and I even took a picture. That's actually the picture that I took there. Oh, hallelujah. That was my before and after picture. Congratulations. Thank you. Say something. Glory be to God. Briefly, someone who needs a miracle, especially those sitting, listening to you and are expecting your miracle today. I know there are some doctor might have told you all that he said the doctor the doctor's words are nothing compared to god's power have faith steer up your faith that's what healed me my faith led to my healing the same day I came to for healing streams. I thought probably I was going to be coming over and over. They pray for me. I go home. They pray for me. But the faith that I had made me to actually receive my healing. Faith is the most important thing. Faith moves mountains. Praise God. And what would you like to say to the man of God, Pastor Chris? Pastor Sir, I love you so much. You are such a blessing to this world, especially to our generation. Oh, you are a saint from God. I wonder what your life would have been if you would have taken another career apart from your pastoral duties. Oh, Pastor Sir. You are a blessing to us, and you are actually reconciling God's people to himself. You are a blessed man. I love you so much. I'm sure the world loves you. Lushamo, congratulations. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Sir. Wait, there's another thing. Maybe you want proof. Look at my leg. Does it have growth? At all. Look at, look at this. Look at this. You see, this is where those things were. You know, those things. I don't know what they are. And they are gone. <laughs> and gone and gone forever. Lushomo. God bless you. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I'm alive. 
I'm alive. You know what? There is no hopelessness. It doesn't matter how long the condition has been there. It doesn't even matter how severe. This is your moment. And even now, miracles are taking place. As you receive your healing, remember, call us immediately or send the message so we can share your testimony with you. Praise God. And finally, brothers and sisters, I have a testimony you must hear. I want you to sit back, watch this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you ready for this testimony? I didn't hear you. If you are not ready, I'm not going to share this testimony. <laughs> we don't even need a video for this testimony. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome at this point Trepa and her husband. They have a story to tell. All the way from India. Wonderful. That was a very special dance. That was a, a victory dance. So, Pastor Dripper. Yes, Pastor. So, tell us your story. First of all, I want to thank a man of God, my father. We love you so much. Thank you for this opportunity that you have given to us. We love you, Pastor. We love you so much. 2016, I was working, and uh, I was uh, a very hard worker, and I was faithful in my company. Every day, I used to travel in public transport. So when I used to come back home, when I used to stand in the bus, immediately my right hand becomes numb. I used to think maybe it's the presence of God. I'm praying and I'm coming. So I used to think in a godly way. But slowly, slowly, 2017, we got married. Then uh, we used to go to a uh, shop and he'll tell, uh, get the change, open your purse. So I used to open the purse very slowly. And he will tell, fast, give me the change. I was like wondering why my hands are not working. What's happening to me? But I'll not share to him. And later, what happened in the church, I used to have an account of all the offerings and everything. I was not able to hold the pen. And I was struggling to hold the pen, to write. When I write, my handwriting slowly, slowly, it was changing every day. I was thinking, why my handwriting is so bad? What's happening to me? But I never shared to him. We used to go for ministry everywhere. And late night, I'll tell, I have a severe pain here. Please pray for me. I will call him pastor, pastor. In the house also, we call him pastor. And he calls me pastor. So I'll tell pastor, my neck is paining, please Lay your hand and pray for me. The whole night he will pray and he'll put some balm. Then I'll sleep. The pain became very severe. When I used to go to church and after the service I want to shake hand to people, my hand will not be stiff. It will be somewhere like this. I'll give hand, shake hand. I don't feel I'm giving a hand to them. Then I'll think what's happening to me. Later when I 
clap my hands during a worship time there will be no sound why my hands are not getting sound one day the pain became very severe couldn't bear i said pastor i'm not able to bear please take me to emergency the pain is so severe every time i used to get pain he used to take me to hospital and put a drips for the pain killer for one and a half hour i'll be admitted then come back home so it was happening now and then i used to pray i want to get healed in a divine way i don't want any kind of operation or any kind of things that was my faith one fine day we went for a ministry a uh, very far away from a place there it is a village in a village when i went to washroom it was an indian toilet pastor said get ready we have to go for a meeting evening i went to washroom and i sat after that i'm not able to get up i'm trying hard and hard i'm not my legs are not working it became jam and i called pastor pastor please come inside i'm not able to get up he came inside the washroom he holded my the, the both my arms and he just lifted me so there was no life in my legs slowly slowly from my hand till my legs the sense was dying it was not having life and one fine day i said pastor i'm not able to walk properly my walking style became like a robot i was walking like a robot some were uh, it was very odd to walk in front of everyone and later stages i was like this is not happening when i get up in the early morning at 7 i'll get up a bend i will bend like this i cannot stand straight i'll be bending down my neck will be down i will go to washroom and do all the work bending myself it will take around 4 to 5 hours to stand straight so my back my backbone became very weak and it was a worst and a worse and a worse situation then finally i said to pastor let us go to the healing school south africa i want to get healed there i don't want to go to hospital so 2020 we applied for healing school in south africa and that minute pastor zion and pastor praise they helped us to do all the visa and all the arrangements suddenly suddenly there was lockdown my friends all my hope what i had to go to south africa 2020 to receive my healing i was like this is my last hope if, if i am not getting healed in that place then what else should i do and it declared a lockdown i was like i want god to heal me that's all many people they said you are becoming more weaker and many things are happening to you you must take a step everywhere lockdown the hospitals are full they they say there's no bed and many other things i said god you are my only hope you are my only hope and and one day i made up my mind okay what is really happening let me go to doctor and let me check we went to a doctor a neuro neurologist he just made me to sit and he gave me a pen and he said make a circle when he gave the pen i was not able to hold and he's reading my hand holding hold the way i'm holding and the way i'm drawing everything is observing and he said okay sit on the bed i sat 
he took uh, he took a small hammer and he hit on my knees when he hit one hit my leg swing like this and king it just swing i'm thinking why my leg just flying in the air what's happening here then he re- he hit the other leg it, this leg also is swinging like that i'm like immediately he wrote do an mri your brain and your spine he just said today itself you do it i and my pastor we we saw each other and we got what's wrong with me then we went and we did an mri and the report came that between c2 and c5 i had a a tumor so they said immediately you must get operated i said no operation i want god to heal me i don't want to go for operation because i was never admitted in hospital so i don't want to i was praying hard but suddenly god said go for it go for it i i was like it was a hard decision to take but i went for an operation before going to operation i asked the doctor we went to two hospitals we asked one doctor what is the reason for this kind of sit, uh, situation he just said like this and we asked him okay after surgery what is the percentage of recovery again he is doing like in front of the doctor i said my god will not give sickness and i told him and i get out i just went outside i said i don't want to go with this doctor <laughs> i got so angry because everything is blaming god then we went to another hospital and we asked the other doctor doctor after the surgery what is the percentage of recovery he said i'll tell you one thing please listen carefully if she doesn't go for operation life long she will be bedridden entire her hands and her legs will be dead she'll be in the bed if she go for an operation i will never give you 100% guarantee of recovery life long something will be not working in her body some organs will not work he said very clearly i was thinking lord should i go or should i not go if i go also i'm not giving 100% if i go also they are not giving 100% what should i do lord i was in a dilemma there i just prayed 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 and i said only one thing god father if you have given me life i want to live healthy to serve you if you are give if i am not healed in the operation theater take my life that was my words to god i i gave the oath to god during the operation day because they said it is an emergency operation you have to do it immediately when they are taking me to the operation theater i said pastor benjamin he said i said please put the songs of the love world singers i want to keep listening and go into the operation theater so they kept near my ears the songs i was listening i was praising god and i just went inside the operation theater it took around 7 to 8 hours the operation took around 7 to 8 hours because the tumor was inside the nerves inside the nerve they have to cut the nerves they have to cut the bone and go inside and take it out so after the operation i came out very successful doctor said the operation is very successful they they immediately shift me to the ward after the they shift to the ward i was recovering i was slowly slowly recovering tomorrow i have to get discharged the last night the evening the doctor came and said you have to sit for 2 hours on the chair in the hospital don't keep on sleeping on bed okay doctor i obeyed his words i sat on the chair for 2 hours pastor he went to leave his mom and uh, brother out 
near the lift and he wa- he was coming inside and i said i'm feeling very tired i told the nurse please lift me and make me to lie down in my bed i'm feeling very tired the moment they lifted me i felt such a severe giddiness i saw near the entrance only pastor coming inside i just called him pastor and i closed my eyes and i just fell on the bed this is what i knew immediately my friends i was dead i was dead that moment i was dead i was i was taken up my spirit was taken up into the presence of god i was in the presence where it's a beautiful greenery everywhere greenery with me there were two people we were holding hands and joy everywhere laughter everywhere we were laughing smiling and running and jumping there i was enjoying in that presence and that time what happened pastor benjamin will tell okay pastor benjamin over to you Thank Are you see here? I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. First that moment when she collapsed there was a red code signal was uh, red red code signal was alarm it came. First four doctors came. Next 20 doctors they came. Today 25 doctors and nurses they came into the room where she was. 25 doc- doctors and there were 10 nurses. there was a big alarm red code was announced and doctors came and they brought all the type of mish- missionaries uh, missionaries they brought and they gave three to four cycles of for heart they gave the shock treatment three to four cycles of the uh, the cycles of the heart uh, they gave all the missionaries everything they brought for 25 minutes they tried they tried tried the bp came lower lower and the saturation came lower and it came to nil and doctor said she is dead wow. doctor said she is no more she is no more as they were saying i said she must not die in the hospital she must not die like this immediately march 2021s the live healing streams the rebroadcast i started to search and start to put near her ears wow she was dead she was dead there was no breath there was no there was no uh, movement of anything doctors are saying that it is finished everything is gone 25 minutes they tried they could not do anything they said they declared she is dead and they are preparing for the death certificate wow. that moment i took the my mobile phone the mobile phone i put the read broadcast of the march edition of live healing stream service as i put near the year i did not speak anything i know what is going to happen kula basata ba pa kapo do beke ba bolu ba sa prahas i know she is in she told me she is in the heaven i know she need to be here she need to do many things for god I did not give up. I said, "Lord, I praise you, Lord. You are going to give life. I know my man of God will take care." Doctor could not take care. The physician could not take care. The neurosurgeon could not take care. The cardiologist could not take care. Everyone said it is dead. I start to put and I was just praising God. I know it is going to work. Pastor, I'll tell you one thing. Past a Chris healing live stream, there is no validity. it does not have expiry date yes yes it does not have an expiry date yes yesterday today tomorrow it is same yes again i'll tell even you can telecast this thing in any national media or international media i will tell pastor chris healing live stream does not have validity or expiry date forever and ever yes hallelujah after 7 and 1/2 minutes 
Seven and a half minutes. Seven and a half minutes. Doctor declared she's dead. I don't know when she died. I put a phone. I'm seeing my watch. Seven and a half minutes. The life came back. Of course. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. The Lord. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> the, the way the way the life came a big life a big how pastor chris he blows on people the same way she blowed she blowed i started to laugh pastor i did not cry i started to laugh 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 immediately doctors came why this this fellow is laughing I said, come and see if she's alive. <laughs> Immediately they said, let us take for observation for the ICU. I said, please stay. I know this life is going to live for longer and she's going to be powerful. She's going to be mighty. Amen. They took to ICU. My mother-in-law came. I said, my mother-in-law came. She did, they said, you need to vacate the bed. No, we are not going to vacate the bed. Next day she's going to come. That night, I slept like a baby pastor. Wow. I know, she's going to leave for longer. I slept. After that, it is an history. Tell us, how have you been in a few minutes? I want to tell you all one thing. If you believe Jesus, today when you close your eyes here, immediately you will open your eyes in the presence of God. That is true, my friends. I am a living testimony. So today I encourage you to receive Christ as your personal Savior. He's the only Savior who will save your soul. If you don't receive Christ, when you die here, immediately you will open your eyes in the presence of devil. So as soon as when I came back to life, I was observed in ICU. Then they... Put me to ward. From there, every day I will listen heavenly music in my ears, day and night, a different kind of music. Every doctor, every day when they come for the roundings, they will tell she was collapsed. Now she's alive. So people will come in a queue. They will tell, please pray for me. I was doing ministry in the hospital, in the hospital bed. <laughs> hospital bed I was doing a ministry and people used to give offering in my hospital bed they'll give offering <laughs> in my hand Jesus is alive yeah. oh hallelujah hallelujah glory 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 he is doing a marvelous thing in our life what would you like to say to someone now Oh, right now, I want to encourage each and every one of you. Your faith really pleases the Lord. That is the only thing that makes you to connect to your miracle. Don't give up. The death may come and go, but you are a victor Amen. for Christ. Never give up. Praise God. And what would you like to say to the man of God, Pastor Chris? Pastor, we love you so much. Because you are a pastor, father, a, a figure of love in our life. If I want to say, you must come to this place better than going to Israel. Because this is a place, a holy land where you can see Jesus doing miracles what happened 2,000 years ago is happening now in this place, in front of your eyes. Oh, through pastor, because pastor heard the voice of our father God, our Jesus, and he has taken the word so seriously and he's obeyed the word of our God. I thank you, pastor, because you are such an obedient to our Lord Jesus and our father we thank you. We love you. Let God use you more powerfully in coming days. We love you, Pastor. We love you. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Pastor Dweepa, thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor Benjamin, thank you so much. And congratulations to you.
Praise God. Thank you. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, hallelujah. And now it's time for you to take your healing. Your moment has come. Take your healing and get ready to do what you could not do because the power of God is present. Congratulations to you.
could hear the cry of that wailing mother, groaning in painful sighs, made only by broken hearts. Was a strain from old reasoning, a language spoken only by lonely broken hearts. Of our only son, a widow still tortured by wellness of a late beloved. Now the only comfort she had, her only son is gone. Oh, what a grief she had to be. In the shadow of a bony structure, saved by dreadful taskmasters of fear. In a devastating shattered world, get it from all.
Go ahead and give God praise. Lift your hands and give Him praise. Boundless love. Let's sing to the Lord. Masho toko raba kanta lika braga seligis. Santa kora sara braga diligis. Worship the Lord with these songs and praise Him from the bottom of your heart.
open your mouth and thank him. Thank him for his grace. There's one who loves you. Sharabakonto Cobra Sekiti Kila Mahadegis. Levrozos Cobra Randa Gavlegis. Thank you, Lord. We just want you to know at this moment, Jesus loves you. Try to fix it all. Hands by and let the 
the man of God carefully considers the case cards of those before him here for their healing. And that's the end of HIV. It's the end of hepatitis. It's the man of God with just one touch, just one breath of the Spirit, and every infirmity dissolves. Right now, all five words 
not to solve by the power of the Holy Ghost. Psalm 147 verse 3 says, He healeth the broken heart and bindeth up their wounds. Today, whole families are restored as their loved ones receive their miracles. Seed man of God, touch this child. So much love and compassion exuding from our man of God. Man of God addresses the devil with power and authority. Recurrent miscarriages are being healed. That woman fell under the power of the Holy Ghost before the man of God even got to her. It's electrical here yeah, in the healing streets, live healing services. And that's it. Glory to God. They're free. And now the man of God approaches the other side of the hill. John 10 verse 10 says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And of God calls those before him. This is their moment. This is their time. They stare deeply into the eyes of the man of God in anticipation of their miracle. That's the end of hepatitis. See the power of God go through her sickle cell anemia. Healed right now. Ovarian cancer healed. This is the end of HIV. There is no unhealable disease present here today. Every disease vanishes and is vanished.
one phrase for this baby. Walk in the deep end, her. That's it, she's trying to end the See this man vibrating and there's a power of the Holy Ghost. Man of God commands the devil out with just a stick of the finger. That's the end of infertility and the freeze. It's an atomic explosion of God's power emanating through the entire planet. Taking place from here, the healing streets, live healing services with the man of God. Suffered from prostate cancer, but today he's healed. Neurological disorder. Man of God commands the devil out with power and authority, and that's it. They're free. Oh, you will walk again. You are gonna see again. And now the man of God begins to approach those on the stretch. Every symptom of disease in your body is leaving you now. Every pain is leaving now. Every demonic affliction is leaving now. Every spirit of infirmity is leaving you now. And if you are on a bed, on a hospital bed, a bed at home, as I minister to these ones, you get ready while you're on that bed. Power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory to God. Away In the to name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Take a deep breath. Each one of you, take a deep breath. Right now, that devil is gone. Get up. Oh, you're free. Get up. Of Jesus Christ when you rise from this chair every disease will leave you every pain will go every evil spirit will leave you and they will not return in the name of Jesus get up on your feet Working through We're us, reaching out to you, reaching right out now. to you right now. right now. Doesn't matter where you are. The great physician is here. Maria, Finland, 
In the name of Jesus, you are healed, Maria. You are healed. The cancer is dead. You're free. It's done unto you. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Doors from Canada. Cancer of the blood. You are cleansed in Jesus' name. You are cleansed. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are free. It's done unto you. It's done. It's done. Don't repeat that God. It's done. The near United States and stage lung disease, neck and shoulder pain. They are gone from you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free. The near, you are free. It's done. It's done. Get up. You are free in the name of Jesus. It's done. Shamil, Azerbaijan, leukemia. I command the leukemia to go from you in the name of Jesus. You are cleansed. You are free. Free completely. And your temperature is back to normal. Your temperature is back to normal. You're free. Don't repeat the God. Kalijatsu, Sierra Leone, diabetes and paralysis. You are healed in the name of Jesus from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You are free now. Get up on your feet, you're free. Oh, Mirella, Russia, myopia. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you are healed. It's done. It's done, Mirella. It's done. Yasin, Tunisia. Skin infection with high cholesterol and diabetes. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. It's done, it's done, it's done. It's done, and your chest pains are gone. Glory be to God. Francis, Belgium, prostate disease and tinnitus. I command that devil to come out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. You are here. Francis, you're here. It's done on you. Malika, Iran, HPV infection. I bring you healing in the name of Jesus. I bring you healing. I bring you healing right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and for your whole house. You're free in Jesus' name. It's done. It's done. It's done. Glory be to God. Rizzo, Canada, you drink cancer. I bring you healing in the name of Jesus. Rizzo, you are here. That devil is gone from you. And all the pains are gone in Jesus' name. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. And the nightmares are gone. The fear is gone out of your house also. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Kazan, Malaysia. Stroke. I bring healing for your heart. I bring healing to you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in the name of Jesus Christ and the weakness leaves you now and the fear is gone from you in the name of Jesus Christ your back pain is healed thank you Lord glory be to God thank you Lord hallelujah pursue in Malaysia spinal compression blood bile ducts well to see you are healed you are healed now. It's done. You are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Yes, she is healed. Salim, Pakistan. Hepatitis B infection. You're free of your infection in the name of Jesus Christ. You're free and the migraine headaches are gone. You're free. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pastor Paul, India. I bring you healing in the name of jesus christ the shoulder pains are gone you are healed in jesus name you're healed glory be to god you're healed completely thank you lord jesus hallelujah petra netherlands stomach pain cramping and pain in the abdomen i bring you healing in the name of jesus 
and the problem with swallowing is also healed. You are healed completely by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. It's done. It's done. It's done, Petra. You're healed. Then Bacazi, South Africa, multiple fibroids, and maybe an high hemorrhage. I bring healing to you in the name of Jesus. You are healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Completely healed. And all those lumps are gone. The gone in Jesus' name. The gone. Hallelujah. Lenon, United Kingdom, knee injury. I bring healing to you in the name of Jesus. Put your hands around your body. Put your hands like this. Yeah. That devil is gone from you. You're free in Jesus' name. You're free. You're free completely. You're free. Glory be to God. Ivy, Sweden, Autism. I command that devil to leave this girl's body in the name of Jesus. That devil goes in Jesus' name. Heal by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Julius, Canada. Well, there's a list of things on your case. But I bring you healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you healing, Julius, by the power of the Spirit of God. That devil leaves you now. And you are healed of all your infirmities. Strength is returned to you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's done unto you. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. David is a gun. You're free in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Amy, USA. Master Nebravis, I command that devil to come out of your body. In the name of Jesus. And every evil work that is done in your body is reversed. Right now, I bring you strength. I bring you health. Return to normal from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You can breathe normally. And all the allergies are gone in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Healing for your brain also. It's all done in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Dasha, Kyrgyzstan. I bring healing to you. From cerebral palsy. And every ailment, every sickness, every infirmity. You devil of darkness, you come out of Dasha's body now. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. And she's free. Dasha, you're free in Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. Daniel, Cyprus, liver cirrhosis and liver cancer. I command the cancer to die in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed. All the pains are leaving you right now. You are healed. It's done unto you in the name of Jesus. That evil spirit is gone from you. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Natasha, Kyrgyzstan. Hypertensive heart disease. I rebuke that disease in the name of Jesus. I command that evil spirit to come out of your body. Natasha, you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, it's done. It's done and the depression is gone from you. It's gone from you now. You are free. Fernando, United States, scoliosis, indigestion, infertility. Well, Fernando, in the name of Jesus, I command your body to become normal. Healed by the power of God. And you're healed. You're healed. And your spine is healed. That demon is gone from your spine. You are healed in Jesus' name. Naama Tuvalu. Ah, oh, prostate cancer with spinal metastasis. Well, I bring you healing now. In the name of Jesus. Take a deep breath. Healings come to you. Healings come to you. You are free. You are free. The prostate cancer is gone. And your spine is healed. That demon is gone out, gone out of your body and is gone out of your home. You're free in Jesus' name. You're free. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. 
Low Revenge of God. Melvin, Canada, high cholesterol. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And all the symptoms are gone from you. You're free. It's done unto you. Glory be to God. Clayton, Jamaica, prostate cancer and infection. I command that devil to turn you loose and come out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone in Jesus' name. You are completely free and healed by the power of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jim, Germany, this protrusion. Well, I bring healing to you. All the way from your head through your spine and through your heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. You're healed. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Glory be to God. It's done. Hallelujah. Portizo, Nigeria. I bring you healing in the name of Jesus. I think it's a child bring healing to that child in Jesus name healed healed Ernesto Philippines stroke kidney problem liver cyst thou devil of darkness come out of Ernesto's body come out of him in the name of Jesus Ernesto you are healed in Jesus name you are healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet you are perfected in Jesus name it's all gone it's all gone it's all gone Glory be to God. Yagmati, Guyana, hypertension, poor vision, heart palpitations, gallbladder, polyps, and hepatic ketosis. Well, this is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment. In the name of Jesus Christ, that evil spirit leaves you now. It leaves your body now. You are healed right now. You are healed. Power of the Holy Ghost. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. The power of the Spirit of God brings you healing right now. You're healed in Jesus' name. It's done. It's done. It's done unto you. It's done. Glory be to God. Hussein, Iran. Kidney failure, diabetes. Hussein, I bring you healing in the name of Jesus. This is your moment. I command those kidneys to come alive. In the name of Jesus, get back to normal. And the diabetes are gone from you in the name of Jesus. You are here. You are here. Hussein, you are here. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Around Mercy, Texas, Lombardis prolapse. I bring you healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Yes, be here. Be here in the name of Jesus. A devil is gone and you are free. You are free. It's done. It's done. It's done. You're free of diabetes. You're free in Jesus' name. It's gone. Hallelujah. Oliveira, United States, stroke, diabetes, gone from you, gone from you, and your eyesight is restored. You're healed in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. So the Shan, India, stroke, you evil spirit of darkness, you come out of his body. Come out of his heart. Let him go free. In the name of Jesus. You are free. You are healed. You are healed. Sodashan, you are healed. In Jesus' name. So you can get up. You are free. It's your moment. You are free. Glory be to God. If old Rwanda, born cancer, I command the cancer to die. And pass out of your body. Be healed in Jesus' name. It's done. It's done. It's done. You are healed. It's done. Gibbs, Papua New Guinea, heart disease, and metro stenosis. I bring you healing in the name of Jesus Christ. 
and the skin infections are gone too. You are free in Jesus' name. You're free. Glory be to God. Jackson, Nigeria, on riders. I bring you healing. I bring you healing. In the name of Jesus, that devil leads you now. You're free. Move your body. Move your limbs. You are free completely by the power of God. You're healed in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. The great physician. Oh, yeah. matter what the case is makes no difference makes no difference to his power doesn't matter this is your moment I bring you healing right now I bring healing from every infirmity you will be healed in fact so many of you are already healed already healed wherever that pain has been wherever that infirmity has been put your hand there if it's your child put your hand on that child if it's your eyes put your fingers over your eyes it's your ear put your finger into the ear and if you brought someone who's deaf put your fingers into that person's deaf ears right now in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to every infirm spirit I speak to every devil of disease you demons of blindness and deafness and dumbness devils of lameness you wicked unclean spirits in the name of Jesus Christ come out of their bodies come out now let them go I command the cancer to die pass out every tumor leaves now in the name of Jesus Be healed, be healed in your bones, be cleansed in your blood, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive healing for your body right now, receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive healing, yes, 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 and you are made whole, you are made whole by the power of the Holy Ghost, you are made whole. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So gra, so gra, hala grande gira ba kos karamande glera desnes. Livra kosa paramangos kira glas. The glory of His presence. Mashata karamando gobra gestes. Do whatever you could not do before. If you couldn't walk, get up on your feet and walk. In the name of Jesus. If your arms were paralyzed, stretch them out now, because you're healed. You are healed. Get that child to walk now. This is the moment. 
That child is healed. That child is healed. Restoration to yes. 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 No matter the distance or infirmity. Yes. The name of Jesus is greater. That's right. The glory of His presence. Healings are taking place everywhere. Thank God for your healing right now. And immediately call us on the phone or send us a message. Use the details on the screen. Let us know what the Lord has done for you. One of the ways of retaining your miracle is to testify about it. Let us know right now what the Lord has done in your body. on the screen It's wonderful to be in God's presence. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Right now you're like the disciples who were with Jesus when he walked the streets of Galilee. They sat around him. They watched him heal the sick, cast out demons, and bring healing to many. You're experiencing exactly the same presence. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. He has not changed doesn't matter that your bones were broken from an accident that's got nothing to do with it what's important is you have a need and he can meet the need that's what matters you have a need and the one who can meet the need is present and he's willing and he loves you 
That's what matters. And that's why this healing has come to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Many of us call him Jesus Christ. All over the world, they call the name Jesus Christ. But a lot of people don't know what they're saying when they call him Jesus Christ. They don't know. And because they don't know, their faith doesn't produce results. Because they don't know the meaning of Jesus Christ. If you knew the meaning, it will produce a much greater result in your life. You ask many people you say do you believe in jesus christ they say yes the question is what do they really believe do they even know the meaning of that name they think christ is a title and so when you say to them what is the meaning of christ for most people who even know a little about that they would say it means the anointed one Anointed for what? Do you know the meaning? What, when you say anointed, what do you mean? They don't understand it. I'm going to give you three scriptures. The first one in St. John's Gospel. I want you to read from chapter 20. From verse 30 into verse 31. Look at what it says. After telling us so many things that Jesus did. After telling us so many miracles that Jesus did. John the writer gets to this verse 30. And here's what he says. And many other signs. Miraculous signs. Truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book he says apart from the ones you read in the book he says there are many that are not written that Jesus performed look at the next verse but these are written that he might believe that Jesus is the Christ The son of God. And that believing. He might have life. Through his name. You see that? He says the reason. That these ones were even written. Because there's so many. He says the reason. For writing the few. That you've read. Is so that you may believe. That Jesus is the Christ. The Christ refers to the Son of God. The Christ refers to God in human flesh. That's the meaning. Did you know that's why they crucified him? Because he said he was the Christ. And so they said that's blasphemy. They said, because you are, not, you are an ordinary man, how can you claim to be God? So they said, he must be killed. Because they said, he robbed God of glory. So they condemned him among robbers. He was crucified between two thieves, two robbers. They condemned him as a robber. Because he said he was the Christ. They asked him, are you the Christ? The high priest asked him, tell us, are you the Christ? He said, yes. Then the high priest said, 
we don't need any further witnesses you've heard him yourselves he is guilty he is guilty so they condemned him for daring to say that he was a Christ because to say you're the Christ means you are God in human flesh now But the gospel is all about this. Look at it again. But these are written that he might believe that Jesus is the Christ. The son of God. Son of God doesn't mean one that is born by God. Son of God means God in human flesh. That's the meaning of son of God. And you know, God sent me to tell the whole world. The meaning of son of God. He told me, he said, they don't know the meaning. He said, many of them don't know. He said, including his own children. He said, many of them don't know the meaning. So tell them. Son of God means God in human flesh. When you say Jesus is the son of God, you mean that he is God in the flesh. That's why he was killed. Let me read something to you. Go to the Bible, Philippians chapter 2, from verse 5. I want you to listen to this. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, he was in nature as God. Being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But they thought it was robbery for him to say he was equal with God. Or he didn't think it was robbery. Can you see it? Because he was. He was the Christ. He was the son of God. God in the flesh. Now, go to first epistle of St. John, chapter 5. Now, before I read that to you, let me read another one. Titus, chapter 2, verse 13. Let me read that one to you first. Look at what it says. Looking for that blessed hope. And the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is called the great God and Savior. Just in case it doesn't look clear to you. Let's read it from the NLT. Listen carefully. While we look forward with hope to that wonderful day when the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be revealed. Great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's our great God and Savior. Jesus Christ is called great God and Savior. This is in your Bible. Let me read you the third one. First epistle of St. John, chapter 5. Let's go to verse 20. Let me read it to you clear, clearly here. It says, and we know that the Son of God is come and had given us an understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do you know what he's telling you? Let me read it to you from the Amplified so you can see it clearly. The AMPC, watch. And we have seen and know positively that the Son of God has actually come to this world and has given us understanding and insight progressively to perceive, recognize, and to come to know better and more clearly Him who is true. And we are in Him who is true, in His Son, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. 
This man is the true God and life eternal. So when they thought he was an ordinary man, he was truly God. Look at it there. This man is the true God and life eternal. Jesus Christ. So you go back to the first one that I read to you so you understand something here. In John chapter 20 and verse 31. He says, these are written, but these are written that he might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. In that believing, so that through believing in him, you might have life through his name. What life? The God life. The life that he himself has. That is what he gives to you. It replaces the human life with which you were born. You were born. Of your mother and father. Your human life came from your father. Your body came from your mother. That's how it is. When you receive Christ. By believing in him. And confessing his lordship over your life. He gives you his life. That eternal life. Enters into your spirit. And it replaces your human life. From then on, you become as he is, a child of God in truth. Let me show to you. Those of you who were born again, I want to show you how the Bible sees you. First epistle of St. John, chapter 4. Go to verse 17. See what the Bible tells you. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment you know people talk about the day of judgment is coming it says but those of us who are born again on the day of judgment we will be bold why because we are like him look at it because as he is so are we not when we get to heaven look at it in this world as he is so are we in this world because we have his life you see it when you're born again that's what happens to you second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 let me show it to you second corinthians chapter 5 it says therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creature he's a new creature all things are passed away doesn't matter how you were born doesn't matter what condition you were in when you were born doesn't matter that you were born of poor parents or you were born in a poor place doesn't matter I'll show you something shortly. All things have passed away. Behold, all things, not some. All things have become new. And what are these things? Look at the next verse. And all things are of God. These new things that have happened in your life now, he says they are of God. So from then on, God is at work in your life. Go to Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. For it is God which walketh in you. Both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Can you see that? Once you come into Christ. Once you believe in Jesus Christ. And you receive his life into you. From then on. God starts working through you. Even for you to have the will to serve God. The Bible says it is God. Who performs that will. For you to be willing to serve God, to love God. All that is the work of God in your life. He makes you willing. And he makes you do his good pleasure. You see that? And then he does something else for you. Go to Romans chapter 8. Let's start reading from verse 14. From verse 14. It says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. 
See that? Because the Holy Spirit now will come to live inside you and he'll be leading you. He'll be guiding you because as he is, so are you in this world. See? All right. Now let's keep reading. Look at the next verse. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. No more fear in your life. But ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. That's wonderful. Look at the next thing. The spirit itself. It should be himself because the spirit is a person. But this is the old King James Version. Alright? When it was revised, they changed that itself to himself. Because it's the same Greek word, a general word. So himself, herself, itself, all of them in that general word. So, what says? The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. If somebody says to you, how do you know you're a child of God? You know inside you. The one who is not also knows he's not. Because the Holy Spirit is not there to bear witness. But if you're a child of God, inside you, you know. So that even if your brain is telling you something different, inside your heart you know the truth so it tells you that the holy spirit bears witness with your spirit not with your brain not with your mind because your mind can play games on you but your spirit will know the truth so it bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of god now watch and if children if it's true that we are children then that means we're heirs heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ oh heirs that means you have an inheritance that's wonderful you have an inheritance you're not poor anymore you see that how could you be poor he says you are a joint heir with Christ joint heir means Everything that belongs to Jesus automatically belongs to you. And that means, here, this is very important because it says joint heirs. That means the same legal ownership that he has is the exact legal ownership that you have. Not 90 and 10%. So you are not having a small percentage. You have the same right. That is joint. Do you know what it is to have a joint account with someone? He can't take anything out of it without you. And you can't take out without him. You both own it 100% together. Not 50-50. You see that? That's the legality of joint heritage. This is, look at it. Then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Say I'm rich. I have everything. Can I show you more? Let me show you. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Go to verse 20. Hear what it tells you. Read. Again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise. That they are what? They are vain. Read more. Therefore let no man glory in men. All things are yours. <laughs> He's telling you that. Don't worry that. Oh your uncle. Your cousin. Say don't glory in men. It's not about who knows you. It's not about who's connected. You are already connected to the one that matters. You're a joint heir with Christ. Say, I'm fully connected. All things are mine. Okay, so what are you going to do? I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to apply it. So that all these things work in your life on a daily and regular basis. These are not mere words. These are realities. These are truths. You want to see them work in your life? I'll tell you some more tomorrow. But it doesn't matter where you are in this great world today. 
you know we we had we had people register from every country under heaven every nation and territory of the world everywhere there's nothing like it this is the only kind of program in this world that such things happen all over the world everywhere so wherever you are if you haven't received this precious priceless salvation and we're translating in how many languages are we translating tonight 8,130 languages. There's nothing like it in the world. There's nothing like it in the world. Not even the United Nations can do that. Yeah. Not even the United Nations. So in every known language of the world, you're hearing this message today. And I, I, I really like to thank all our translators everywhere. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for your amazing work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pray the Lord will bless you more and more. Because because of you, this message goes to the ends of the earth. Thank you very much. You that needs to receive salvation right now, I'm talking to you. This is your moment to receive the life that Jesus gives. This is your hour. I'm going to lead you into this precious salvation, the Bible way. It doesn't matter. You may be a governor of a state, a president of a country, a prime minister, a monarch of some kind, the leader of an institution, a school. It doesn't matter. Maybe a professor that has known so much in the sciences and arts. doesn't matter. The one thing that really matters in this world is whether you truly know God for yourself. A personal knowledge of God. Not assumption. A personal knowledge of God. Because at the end of the day, your office will be over. You would have done your last day at work. Your last day as governor. Your last day as chairman. Your last day as president. It doesn't matter. This is the thing that truly matters. Your relationship with God your spirit what happens to the real you the real you that human beings don't see that only God sees that heart that only God knows you have believed in Jesus Christ but now I've explained to you who he really is and through him you can receive eternal life say these words after me and mean them from the bottom of your heart and God will hear you your sins will be blotted out of your heart because before God they don't exist Jesus Christ took them all away but your heart will be purified right now and you will know that his righteousness has been imparted to your spirit You'll be awakened to the fatherhood of God in a split second. Say these words after me. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. I believe Jesus Christ died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised him from the dead and he is alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ 
is Lord of my life from this day. I receive by faith in his name eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Congratulations. I thank God for you. I thank God for you. We have a book we'd like to send to you. It's a little book. And it's titled, Now That You Are Born Again. And with this book, you can start learning about this life that you just received and start building your faith strong in Jesus Christ. So use the code number at the bottom of your screen, 4763, and download a copy of the book for yourself today. If you want one posted to you, you can use our address to request for it. We'll be so glad to send it to you. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you. Now we have a lot more. And I want us to hear these amazing testimonies. And then we will praise the Lord before we close. It's important to praise God. What else are you going to do for God? What else can he take from you? We have to praise him with a song or two before we go. But let's hear the amazing testimonies. I'm sure testimonies have been coming in, right? Yes, sir. Oh, tell me about them. Pastor, I have one from Malawi. Wilson. Where is, this, where is this device? Yes, please. Wilson is 19 years old. And for 15 years of his life, he's been blind. But Hold on. He's how old? 19 years old. He's 19. Blind for? 15 years. 15 years. Pastor, as we were ministering. Interesting. Blindness left him. Now he's reading, identifying colors for the first time in 15 years. Where is that from? Malawi. From Malawi. Glory be to God. So when he was about five years old or something like that, right? Four years. Four years old. Yes. He became blind. Yes, sir. Wonderful. And tonight he's seeing. Glory be to God. Pastor, That's wonderful. This is from Zambia. Zambia. Molenga from Zambia. Yes, please. And he says he's been wheelchair bound for most of his life. How old is he again? The age is not written here, but for most of his life. Most of his life he's yes. been in a wheelchair. Yes, sir. But tonight, while you were ministering, he got healed and perfectly normal. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Pastor, something good is happening in Malawi. Tell me. I have another one from Malawi. Katumba. Charles Katumba Piri. Yes. 58 years old Charles Katumba Piri suffered from hypertension and diabetes for a while. He couldn't sit up well and could only lie down. After the man of God ministered to the sick tonight, he says he received his healing and can now walk, jump, and Glory laugh. Glory be to God. Uh, Pastor, this Hallelujah. is another one Pastor. Malawi. Malawi. Another Malawi. Something is happening in Malawi. Yes, sir. And Glory is, be to God. This is Romani, and she says uh, she was diagnosed of arthritis over three years ago. And this made her life miserable as she stopped her daily work due to the extreme pain she experienced. And it says, due to this disease, she developed high blood pressure. But today, glory to God, during the ministration, she began to run, walk, breathe properly without experiencing any pain. It's Perfectly wonderful. healed. Wonderful. Pastor, this, this, is, this is from Canada. Yes. David, 24 years old. Okay. Uh, he had brain tumor and then became par partially paralyzed. Could not walk. But he said, while you were ministering, he connected. He said, you mentioned his case while you were praying. He suddenly felt strength. And now he got up. He's walking. That's Normally, wonderful. he's That's healed wonderful. completely. Glory be to God. That's amazing. Tell me. Pastor, I've got one year from Kenya. From Kenya? Yeah, it is Manina. He had a, fractures, a fractured left leg. And in the process where they try to fix that leg, he, he got a wound on that leg. And tonight when you ministered, he threw the, the, the crutches away and the cask he had around that leg, he threw it away and he's walking normally in Kenya. Praise, Praise God. God. Pastor, Pastor, 
Oh, wonderful. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Glory Pastor, be this, to God. This Tell is, me. This is Stephen from Turkey. Yes. He, he, he said, I had an eye inflammation. It caused him to become completely blind from his left, left eye. He could not see. He said, I took a lot of medications for six months. Nothing changed. But today, while the man of God was ministering at the healing streams, he said, I got healed. I can see everything the left part of the eye, the left oh, eye could not see before. That's wonderful. The blindness is gone. Glory be to Turkey. God. Wonderful. Pastor, Tell this me. is from Maureen. Maureen from Kenya. Yes. After giving birth to my child, the lower part of my body became so heavy and extremely painful. I couldn't walk properly and had to depend on the support of a stick to walk. Today, as I came to the auditorium in the healing center, sir, I felt the presence of God so strongly like I have never felt before. As the man of God was ministering, the heaviness suddenly lifted and I immediately dropped the stick and started to walk without it. Glory, glory, I'm this, here. This, is, this again is from Kenya. This is Alice from Kenya. Suffered fractures in the left femur and uh, the pelvic bone and, and then had dislocation of the left hip due to a car accident and injuries. That is sustained this persisted for over a month and alice required support and was now using crutches but he said during the prayer session this healing stream he said i felt an increase in strength i was able to get up and i've left my cl my crutches behind i'm walking now without my crutches <laughs> Praise God. i've, I've got me. another one here amazing one Dolores Mosso from Toronto, Canada. She was diagnosed with cancer of the blood, yeah. but she couldn't walk properly because of the pain, and she was always feeling nauseous. As the man of God called her name and declared her free, immediately she felt a warm sensation and knew she was healed. Oh, she can God. walk, she can jump, Hallelujah. she can run. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That's Pastor, wonderful. I have one from Poland. From Poland. Uh, there's a man who had, was diabetic and so he had been bedridden. Yes. So he couldn't, he couldn't walk. But while you were ministering to the surprise of the wife, he jumped out of the bed. <laughs> and he had been bedridden, wonderful. Pastor. Lipped out of the bed. Lipped out of the Glory bed. Glory be to yes. God. Pastor, Pastor, this, this is, is from Botswana. From Botswana. Warona from Botswana. Yes. She says, initially I was diagnosed with eczema, but it has it has since progressed into an illness that doctors were unable to diagnose. This has led to the development of sores all over my body and severe itchiness. But today, I received my healing and everything has stopped. Glory to Brother, God. This is Shiban Shibanjo, Shen Banjo from South Africa. Was is participating from a healing center, was deaf in the right ear for 10 years. Deaf and now the ear has opened up for 10 years. 10 years. Yes. That's wonderful. Pastor, this is from Cameroon. Yes. In Damason. It says, my family and I are participating in the healing, in the healing streams, life healing service with the man of God, Pastor Chris. He says, and it's been amazing. The abdominal pain on my left leg, uh, the abdominal pain, and also on my, the pain on my left leg, they are gone. He says the liver problem and cancer in my in-law also gone. Praise God. Wonderful. Pastor, you need to hear this. Tell me. This is from Malawi. Nelly from Malawi. A 40-year-old Nelly. And she says she suffered from the pain of constant swelling. On the left leg, she couldn't walk. She couldn't eat. And if she eats, she would vomit all, all, she would vomit all the, all the time. Today, as pastor was ministering, she felt the spirit of God go through her body. And now, she can walk, jump, run. Glory to God. Pastor, this, this is uh, Nomsa from South Africa. 49 years old, Nomsa has a 7-year-old son, Isaac. And they were participating together. Nomsa yes. was diagnosed with diabetes and hypertension and neuropathy. While her son was asthmatic and had breathing issues. 
and, uh, and could not breathe and had uncomfortable cough. So while the man of God was ministering, Isaac that was sitting fell under the power of God. While Nomsa herself felt heat that was coming over her chest. And now she's, Isaac is breathing normally, no more <laughs> asthma, and she can move her hand now. Both of them healed at the same time. Glory be to God. Pastor, I we've got Ruth from Canada who had been bleeding nonstop for four years. She had had the issue of blood for four years. And she came into the, she was feeling weak. She couldn't do anything strenuous. But today she felt in her body that she was healed. She regained her strength and the bleeding stopped. That's wonderful. Glory That's just to... like, like the story of the woman in the Bible. Yes. Who had been hemorrhaging for 12 years. And then she went, found a way to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. And when she did, the Bible says she felt in her body, just like that. She felt in her body that she was healed of the plague. Just one pa more. Pastor, yes. this is Jared from Kenya. For one month, I could not bend without feeling pain. I couldn't sit for a long time without feeling pain. But I have been participating in the service since... And just now, notice the pain has gone. I'm healed. Hallelujah. That's amazing. That's amazing. You know, we could go on and on like this throughout the night. And like in the previous ones, you'll have testimonies coming just every hour. They're coming in loads. And tonight, from all over the world, we're going to be receiving testimonies. We'd we'll like to share some of these with you tomorrow. But this is day one. We have day one, two, and three. So get yourself ready for what the Lord is going to do in your life. We're starting uh, same time tomorrow, 3 p.m. GMT plus one. And the Lord's going to do mighty things in your life. I thank God for you. I thank God for you. What a moment in time to be at the center of God's will and plan for your life. Let's sing the song, Eternal Elixir, in praise to God.
These amazing testimonies. What a testimony that was. It's wonderful to just see what God did in your life. Amazing. Amazing. The Lord is gracious. So gracious. So gracious. Amazing. It was good to hear your testimony. So beautiful, so inspiring. And that, that happened in the bus, right? In the bus. Wonderful. And now you can see. That's wonderful. God's going to do something special with your life. He will. He will. He will. Thank you for your beautiful testimony. It's amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you for reminding us that this world is not the end, right? Yes. You reminded us today that when someone passes out of this world, they're immediately in the spirit, still alive. What a testimony. I'm so glad to see you again. Yes, I know. I saw both of you. And God honored your faith and let her come back to help you with your work in ministry. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. God is great. God is great. I want to pray for you. I remember you. I remember you. So good to hear your amazing testimony. I want to pray for each one of you. So that when you leave here, you're taking something back with you. An increased grace is going back with you. The grace in your life will be multiplied. Precious Lord Jesus, for each one of them, for each one of them, they go back with special grace. For each one of them. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Shakura Bakatea. Libra Kosa. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your grace, Lord. Thank you for the increased grace on their lives. Thank you, Lord. I think you pass away.
Jesus, how we honor you, how we love you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for all the healings all over the world. Thank you for the amazing miracles everywhere. Thank you for those inside this auditorium. The amazing healings that we saw in their lives today. They will never be the same again. Because your glory is manifested in their lives. And they will take this glory home to their families. Take this glory home into their future. I bless them with your word. I bless them with your love. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Right now, we're going to give an offering to the Lord. We'll do a song. Your kingdom is forever. And while we're doing that song, we'll provide you details on the screen that you can use to give an offering to the Lord. Whenever we gather around God's word, as Christians, we give an offering to God. When you believe in Jesus Christ, you honor him as God. You give an offering. See, that's important. You come to the house of God, you recognize that that is not, you, you didn't come to visit a man. You give an offering. It's one of the signs that you're honoring God. That's what you do. So right now, we'll provide you details on the screen. And you can give an offering. Your kingdom is forever. Sing to the Lord.
just a second you know i've got many amazing ministers of the gospel with us today yes and beginning with bishop thomas rock is here okay reverend am i gonna help me yeah but i, I just I, I just want to introduce just a few of them pastor razza meleski is here with his wife yes. his lovely wife yes pastor sandra Osorio. apostle maria is here as well now there are many others who are here but we're going to do a full introduction on sunday yes. right yes, on sir. sunday but i just wanted you to know we've got uh several ministers in this place in fact over there you're going to see there are many of them hello how y'all doing so um and and we have special classes where we're going to meet monday tuesday and wednesday that's going to be wonderful it's going to be wonderful so i'm so glad you're all here i just wanted you to know that i've seen you i'm aware that you're here so glad you came so glad you came i love you glad you came your kingdom is forever your dominion is You're watching Love World USA. Coming up on Chronicles of Faith, or Robert's classic message, If God Be For Us, Who Can Be Against Us? And a healing line from the May 1961 Columbus, Georgia Tank Crusade. Welcome to Chronicles of Faith. I'm Ray Lewandowski, your guide on this look back at the visual chronicles of the man of faith with a message for your deliverance. The man, Oral Roberts. Today we conclude our look back at the crusade meetings from Columbus, Georgia. Now during those crusade meetings, a columnist in the Columbus Ledger Inquirer wrote a wonderful column about the positive influence of Oral Roberts. He wrote, Oral Roberts offers hope to those who have no hope. He appeals to the vast multitudes of forgotten citizens who struggle in a world that seems forever against them. 
Oral Roberts fills a desperate needs in the hearts and souls of men and women. He's filling a gap that our ministers, doctors, and psychologists are not filling. Surely there's a larger purpose for good behind such a man. Now here's Oral's message followed by a healing line from the May 1961 Columbus Crusade. First, here is Bob Daniels with the gospel song, I Know Who Holds Tomorrow. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't borrow from its sunshine, for its skies may turn to gray. I don't worry for the future, for I know what God has said. And today I walk beside him, for he knows what is ahead. Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand. But I know who holds tomorrow, and I know who holds my hand. Every step is getting brighter as the golden stairs I climb. Every burden is getting lighter. Every cloud is silver lined. There the sun is always shining. There no tear will dim the eye. At the ending of the rainbow, where the mountains touch the sky. Many things about tomorrow I don't see understand, but I know who holds tomorrow, and I know who holds my hand, yes I know who holds tomorrow, and I know Reverend Roberts. Hello, everyone. Now I call your attention to the book of Romans, chapter 8, beginning to read at verse 31. These are the words of the great apostle Paul. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? May God bless the reading and the hearing of his holy word. I'm speaking to you today on the subject of our text. If God be for us, who can be against us? There is a dualism in this life. We know that by the observation we have of the things about us in our everyday experiences. There's something for us, there's something against us. There's somebody for us, and there's somebody against us. There's a dualism. There are two sides. There's a heaven and there's a hell. There's sin and there's righteousness. There is health and there's sickness. Yes, there are, there are for and against on both sides. Who is against us? What is against us? It's good for us to identify our enemies so that we'll not be embracing them or calling them our friends, so that we can reject them and repudiate them and cast them by the power of God out of our lives. The Bible tells us who is against us and what is against us. The Bible says the devil is against us. Now we know that the devil goes by many names, and there are people who do not uh, 
understand that the devil is a personality. They say a negative force is against me. And they give name to different other forces which they think are against them. But the Bible teaches there is a personal devil who was once a great archangel in heaven, who was the most beautiful and shining of all the created creatures, who had one-third of the angelic beings under his control. There was a time in eternity past when he raised himself up against God, when he attempted to usurp the power of the great uh, creator. God saw the sin in Lucifer's heart. God said, Thou shalt be cast out of heaven down to the sides of hell. And he was cast to this earth with one-third of the angelic beings that followed him in his rebellion. And today the devil is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The Bible describes him by many names and tells us of his satanic work over mankind. He has four offsprings, sin, disease, demons, and fear. And the devil clothes himself with these four different evil personalities, which he tries to, to give to human beings. First is sin, and sin is against us. Whenever you commit sin, you are digging your own grave. When you commit sin, you are searing your conscience and blasting your eternal hopes and wrecking your character. When you sin, you are, you are to be paid off by the wages of death. For the Bible 